welcome to another Girl Gets Glory live stream. Uh, we did so much costuming in the last week. I think this week we all went kind of a little less, but uh, thanks for tuning in. We had fun with you all on our Halloween stream. So um, let's just go around, remind everyone who we are, and Kelly will give a little blurb, blurb and we'll get started. I'm Alice Gretchen, and I play Rowan of Glen Hollyhock, a forest gnome druid. I'm Kim Hidalgo, and I play Bada Ivy Ederbo, a half leg cleric. <laughs> Sorry when they do that. Uh, my name is Callum Coleman, and I play Branishka Theodrius, a dragonborn barbarian. Hey, everybody, I'm Kelly D'Angelo, your dungeon master. <laughs> Hi, I'm Erica Fermina, and I play Lala Lemon Boots, your pixie ranger. I'm Rachel Seeley, and as always, I play Moira Moran. Bitter, angry, noble pup. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm Lilith. No, I'm not. I'm Allie. <laughs> but you I just want to be Lilith, yeah, okay? I'm Allie Gonino. I'm playing Lilith Lucena, Tiefling Bard. Great. So, nice little uh, summary. Any announcements? Anything to kind of cover for the oh, chat we're giving today? away idol champion codes, as always. As always. Um, Jen, is it open? It's open, so exclamation point raffle uh, to enter, and we'll be picking winners at break and at the end, as usual. Mm -hmm. Fantastic. And also, we wanted to say, just off the top of our heads, uh, our hearts are with Texas right now with the news that had happened today. So we're glad that you're here with us to escape the chaos. Right now, Thay looks like a welcoming location mm -hmm. in comparison. So we're just going to get out of our heads for a bit, but we want to let you guys know that our hearts are with the my home the state right now. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Sad. All right, so a recap. So this group of adventurers had been transported and betrayed by somebody when they were in Chult, uh, this mysterious woman named Valindra, uh, who had sent you guys uh, quickly unveiling her true form as she was transporting you into a strange land, a petrified forest called the Ganathwood, which they soon found out thanks to two traveling adventurers that they met along the way. Uh, Dranishka and Fauna, who are now a part of their adventuring uh, band. Together, they uh, met this strange kind of being right before they had walked into a desecrated uh, landscape of some sort and were quickly brought underneath the Gnathwood into a underground tunnel that connected them to the city of Byzantin, which was the closest city in the direction that they were attempting to go. Um, upon walking into Byzantium, they realized that the tunnel led out into this uh, college called the Hexodon, um, which is this hex-based college in Byzantium, into a sort of almost animalistic, frat, dark lord, Voldemorty kind of situation mm. where people were getting killed and resurrected. It was a, a tumultuous situation because they did not know how to leave without raising red flags, especially in the city like Byzantium that has a very different structure since they're in Thay. After killing the head hexer, uh, head, head of this, uh, over, uh, oversaw this section of it that this buddy of theirs, Todd, uh, was attempting to get his binds off of. Uh, surprisingly, also a cousin, distant cousin maybe, of uh, Lilith upon that journey. He uh, then, you guys uh, resurrected him, Saxon, with a new name. Mr. Bubbles. Mr. Bubbles. Can I have Mr. Bubbles too? Oh, you don't. You need a Mr. Bubbles, of course. Where is where is everyone the, needs a Mr. Bubbles? I, Mr. Bubbles. And I have a skeleton now too. <laughs> Sneakers. Sneakers. Um, <laughs> you guys then Sneakers. went into Byzantium and tried to figure out just how to get out of there. So you wanted to hire a boat or figure some situation out where a, a boat could be stolen or something like that. And you guys were quickly brought into the um, kind of beached, piratey looking ship that a lot of the terminals were coming in and out of, and the docks were kind of keeping their logs. From there, you guys went to the observatory, where you were quickly attempting to figure out who to trust and who not to trust, and you found out in good and bad ways, being that some people were trying to take over your lives, it appears. That's where you found sneakers. And then you guys found a boat that seemed to be of a decent quality, Saxon's old boat. Um, you met with Edna, who had been transported across the way looking for Saxon, and conveniently, she was frustrated that he was not attending any of the meetings. And thus, we saw some interest align. You guys hired out a motley crew of uh, these people who semi knew how to handle a boat, kind of a minimal amount right around the cusp of uh, what you guys needed for this small boat that you guys wanted to bring out into the Sea of Fallen Stars. Um, it was a long journey. You guys have been on the, uh, the, the sea for at least almost pushing closer to a 10 day now because you guys have been kind of traveling near and far and just pushing in one direction, just constantly um, due northwest. Um, 
you guys then passed through this wall that you guys knew was going to be coming, but Wine kind of in his hesitancy kind of attempted to deal with the currents and the tides in order to make sure that you could safely, uh, safely pass over Shark's Bane Wall, um, which you did, but not without um, the interest or drawing the interest of some strange creatures that followed you guys over it. And that's where that battle was last week that took place in the water with a couple spells casted and some very close or death experiences, um, but people resurrected in time with some smart thinking and some good spell casting. Uh, but taught everybody a lot about how dangerous water could be. And I up in the water. I was tired. I was tired. <laughs> Uh, you guys also realize that on this boat, as you were pushing in this direction, there's somebody else on this boat, this undead person named Tanith. Uh, but she has a memory loss and hasn't really done anything to raise suspicion. So you guys are just continuing, continuing to push northwest at a fairly decent speed. The sun had now set, uh, being that you guys just ended this battle at the cusp of the sunset. So torches and lamps and oil lamps are beginning to get illuminated around. The winds are kind of petering out, but you can still see that looming, looming shadow in the sky uh, that appears to be within a day's reach as those clouds have slowly been coming closer to you. So are we, am I just out of the water? Yeah, like, you guys are like fresh out like, of the water. Exactly, yeah. This uh, is right after the battle. Yeah. Are you still passed out? <coughs> no, no, she's awake. I mean, she, but she I'm... She's, she's, she's I've got a which is why I'm going to, well, Are you going to heal her? Yes, Good I was job. going to, if I, I don't. I like the healing. Let me see first. I don't have any spells. I do, because I wasn't able to use any spell slots, so we're just going you to do You need healing it. too, though, boy, right? I do, but she needs it more, because she's at, what, seven? Can I heal both of you, though, sure. right now? I would do bath healing word. Wait, I think that's what it's called. So yeah, I believe you can uh, channel and you can choose up to eight willing creatures and give them... All the people, <laughs> willing. all my people willing. are get. I can choose all of you, so you're all being choose. You can beat healing. I and I'm going to give you... You're strong. Like bull. <laughs> 11 points of healing each. Do I take more points? Um, no, it can't. Okay, off. don't do it, me. <laughs> I'm going to. You were, you were at so seven. Close. You hear wine shouting out, out, out at the top right now. Uh, just, are you okay? Are you okay? okay? Pretty ladies, okay? We're not dead Who yet, ladies. Who is that? that? It's wine. Wine. <laughs> oh, oh. Wine, we're okay. It was, it was touch and go there for a moment, but we made it. Okay. Do you happen to know any mer people around these parts? <laughs> Something oh. grabbed me down there. We almost had two fatalities. And then, almost, like, just running up directly to you, um, the little dwarf. What's his name, Walton? Uh, uh, Walton. Uh, uh, Is that Peppily, right? Yep. Uh, Peppily kind of walking up to you. My oh, boyfriend. Oh, are, you, are you okay? I'm okay. Krenishka, no, I was so worried about you. Darling, I'm okay. Okay, okay. My friends, not so much. Me, fine. Okay. But they have now healed a little. She was a real hero earlier. I was okay. Oh. <gasps> You're a hero to me too. Oh. <laughs> I should probably go make sure yeah, that go, the boat go, doesn't, yeah, go, it has not any damage. Okay. And he like runs down into the hole just as quickly as his little feet could make him. Did you hear me? I was talking you up. Thank, thank you, darling. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'd like to know gracious. who the mer people were that I saw. I saw a gentleman creature with three very powerful, bolty things. He had a trident and he had big arms and it ripped them off his body. Awful. I touched him. back because he I'd like to ask Edna. One of those. Okay, so Edna ran things. up, a, I think she ran up into the crow's nest and then Four. here came down. So Shut here's Edna. walking around. That's rude. Oh, she, she kind of like, her eyes are wide and she's just shaking up there like really scared. Oh, you poor thing. That was just horrible. That was just, that was scary. I'm, I'm very scared. I'm, 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 my bones are so brittle. How do you all do that? Perhaps I could offer you a distraction. With all your wealth of knowledge, you being a librarian and all, yes, yes. I was wondering if you happen to know what sort of um, mer people with big, bolty trident sort of things might be around these um, parts. In honest, I hate to say this, but I was quite scared, so I didn't get a good look at them. Um, anyone 
Anyone here have a um, sheet from the top? She kind of pulls out a piece of paper and a pen. Any, anyone quite good at, at drawing? Drawing? It's a nice calm draw after the battle. I think you <laughs> saw it, the best oh. of us. I. Oh, okay, so she like runs shark, down guys. from the crow's nest and Just she nice hops over draw. there. Her in here exchange, draw she runs up to the crow's nest. <laughs> she hands you this piece of paper. She's still shark, no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she's drown. Not a she's really can I have you? Um, we'll make this. Uh, you can choose between a dexterity or a performance check in attempt to finesse the <laughs> prerequisite of the draw. One's got oh. a big booty. Okay. Where, where is this? Is that a snake? Okay, I don't understand. It's much better. So now we know what Alice did. What's the word? Dex. Dex? Dex, you can choose dex? a dex or a performance role because oh. it's, it's like a finesse. Okay. So I'll the dex is going to be a little bit more detailed, whereas <laughs> the performance role would be more like like a watercolor. Yeah. He's a big booty merman. Yeah. <laughs> 10, 12. 12? Okay, so you're, you're not used to drawing. It looks kind of like that. I'm a much <laughs> better writer than I am a drawer. Is that his hair? <laughs> Maybe it might be tried. I mean, it's not it's not too far off, but uh, <laughs> very <laughs> slender waist. Uh -huh. <laughs> uh, she I'm kind of feminine, examines no? the drawing. Yeah, she's um, very feminine. Sees so she. Though. Let's see if she has a recollection uh -huh. of what kind of creature this would be. Um, she looks at it. Her 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 brow furrows, and she puts her hands to her her chin, and you, you know that drawing. Um. By the way, you, you have raw talent. Ah, mm -hmm. you're far too kind. <laughs> you're very, very good at very specific parts very of getting raw the part in town. She's good at the um, butt. Yeah. Very good at drawing the butt. I do like a good butt. <laughs> I, I said butt. raw, and you said she's good at the, the butt. butt. I and drawing. The butt. Yeah. Good at drawing the butt. Yeah. I know what I meant. Um, go on. But, but I, I do think that this is not from the, the shape, specifically the lower half. I don't think it's, um, it's a mare person that you're saying or anything oh. like that. That doesn't, it doesn't, the, the shape, it's bulbous in a way. And it's, it, it has these mm -hmm. things coming out of its chin. And it, from the, just, from the, the way it looks, it does look fishy. But it, it's not, I mean, I've heard stories and I, I know things about mare folk and seals and things of that nature. But what do you think it is? Oh, I brought there. <laughs> You guys, you guys are kind of on the top of the deck. Watch, you, you, she, Alice was like drawing it slowly, and you guys kind of caught she was drawing something. And she goes, she looks at it, and you know, I'm not as familiar with these beings. I think they're called sang, sanguine, 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 like a penguin, but a person. Sanguine. A I don't have a great rec I've heard of these creatures, and, and honestly, I may be wrong, but um, I think that's what they are. Isn't that just an old wood flood? Well, next town we're in, I'll be looking up about these folk. I could, I don't know. My, my memory fails me. I've only heard of these creatures before. Boira, Lily, are you guys still in pain? Do you still have okay, pain? I had 30 hit points left. I'm just I healed a little, her. Uh, from the you're battle. okay? You're both healed enough? Well, I'm not at half of my health. <laughs> I put a cure wounds I can, on you. I can play I can a just, song. Yeah, I could just lay can, hands on myself just to feel lovely. better. <laughs> I can also <laughs> heal a word, <laughs> do, song of rest. Do you need me to cure wounds on either of you is my question. I wouldn't say no. I'm not okay, I have a yeah. cure wounds on you. Oh, thank you. And you're gonna take... Blip, blip, blip. Bleep, bleep, bleep. <laughs> <laughs> Some little oh, pieces girl. of water bloop 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 uh, over the pointy points. Ooh, thank you. That's quite lovely. She has lucky hands. They're quite healing. <laughs> <laughs> As they glow and emanate this power, and you can see it kind of insert and glow into Moira, healing her up. Uh, while I'm healing Moira, I'm gonna try and take one of the potion drinks, the yellow ones from if the party. If you want one, I can just give it to you, unless you're going to try and use it on Gylon, and that would be a little inappropriate. <gasps> tiny no, child. No, don't give it to oh, her. Tiny child, don't that's a little inappropriate. I didn't tell it. I was telling the <laughs> DM that I'm gonna try and steal it. Okay. All right, so who has it Who has it on them? Can I just uh, okay. Come on I so this is how this is gonna work really quickly. Your passive perception is? Um, probably not good. What is it, like a f Don't 10? Don't let her get it. Let's find out. Everyone, what I should actually it? know everyone's passive yeah, perception, it's a 10. except, unfortunately, Rowan, you're busy drawing, so you're not paying attention. Okay. Perception? Yes. Oh, 
But give me your passive just in case, because the DC will go up for you. No, it's not okay. perceptive. That's why she's always seeing birds everywhere. What's everyone's passive? What's, pa what's passive? It's, it's, it, I think yours, unfortunately, is going to be a baseline of, Mine's oh, uh, yours is yeah, 10 minus 1, oh, so 9. Also I perception. <laughs> 10. 10? 10? 10? 9? 15. 15. Okay. Count this many. So, all right. So okay. roll a stealth mm. to attempt to and very tiptoe into Moira's back pocket and steal it. In a satchel. Like I'm going to slap her hands away and say, no, that's inappropriate. You don't know what I was going to do with it. Oh, that. I know what you were going to do. Is it I a just love potion? Tiny child? No, it's a, it's a oh. potion that when you drink it, you, you become happy. Just very happy. Uh, he just seems like he you want to make him the happy. joy. He, I think that Gylon will be fine. You just keep smiling at him and being kind to him. and Maybe I'll just play some more music for Gylon. Uh, how about we leave Guy on alone for just a minute? He is in the middle of tying some very good ropes. Where is so. a rope expert? So. I am a rope expert. <laughs> she okay. Yes. I just, sometimes you have to be nice to people and make them happy. Well, sure. You don't need a potion for that. You can just be nice to him and win him over with your yes. charm. Or you can leave him alone. I've been trying. <laughs> and you know what? In the end, I'm just going to sit her down and just, in the end, if he isn't receptive of your incredible charm, then he's not worth it. You'll find someone who... Moira, I like to beg to differ. Gylon like is to always to worth differ. it. You might find someone better than Gylon. You're only You might 13. just have to wait like eight more years before This goes for you, you too. Really... I... <laughs> I'm of age. You I'm... are of age. Now. And I'm, I'm also very good at taking rejection. I get over it quickly. But what I'm saying to you is, you know, just maybe he might be like weirded out by the age difference. You are 12. I know, I'm just- there's, But there's a law in, in this uh, world. I've heard, I, I heard there's a law that you have to be of certain age to be with men that age. I heard the law. I heard I imagine when you're of an age and you find a man who's of the same age. Yes, you are around he would go to jail. You don't Cylon want him to go to jail. Will be by then, and but you will have I'm not trying to do anything illegal. Of I'm just trying not. to lay the foundation so that when I'm old enough, <laughs> he'll think of me. And also, that's called the long game. Well, you just game. have to be yourself. And she's if he does playing, think of you, fantastic. If not, you'll find that. She's playing the long game. Mm. I'm playing the long game. Tradition understands. I'm sure. I do. <laughs> as, as you guys say that, you realize that like he had finished tying a rope, and he kind of, you guys are all talking kind of in the center, and he kind of Can I just has to. Dragushka like, and I don't ropes. know anything about the long game. No, <laughs> no, we do not. Oh. <laughs> tie another. Go. I need you to tie that thing as well. Tie it down. What are you the, pointing to? A barrel. <laughs> <laughs> I need you to just tie it down so it doesn't go overboard. Uh, it's full of fresh water. We don't want to just. He's gonna roll an insight check on you just oh, to great. see if he can understand what <laughs> you're asking. Just try the barrel. Uh, persuasion, really quick. Okay. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I have another. That's the one I'm good at. I think. I don't remember. I don't know who I am. So as she's shouting this, are you saying um, something yes, to him too? Yes. Um, Gailon, I heard from a bird uh, about some laws. That's, I also I'm, heard from a bird again. that yeah. you might no, be like um, betrothed to no. someone. You're getting married to in a few years. Betrothed. Right? Just a nine. Yes, you're but getting yes, married no, to yeah. someone. No, oh, that's so sad. Oh, I mean, congratulations. But congratulations. We can, hope that's that we great. can get you back yes. to her. Yes. Very good. I would like to go to the her. wedding. Yes. We I'll play drums. She'll her. play little mandolin. It'll yes. be great. And oh, you could be flower girl. We'll marry. Oh. No, she don't. And then she'll find someone very wonderful, won't mm. Yes. At the wedding. And will dance with a very handsome man. She's okay because you know why sad. you want him to be happy. Why don't you attend the, the barrel? He <laughs> does the barrel down. He runs over to the barrel the moment he sees her starting to, her eyes but well no. up. But I heard Gylon has a young cousin. Oh. Oh. Marriages end all the time. He might have a cousin that looks exactly like It had to happen. Right? It oh. had to happen. Rowan. <coughs> One and two. What did she say? What? what did she say? What did you say? She's talking about One and two marriages, marriages end all ending. the time. A theory of divorce. Oh, yeah. Whatever it is. They haven't Let's even gotten married yet. I'm though. just going to heal myself up. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Leon, so okay. this conversation kind of dissipates and everyone's <laughs> trying to heal up and some concussions have happened here or there. You and guys take some time. Um, the the <laughs> waves are crashing um, kind of. Uh, Everybody's got to get their heart broken. <laughs> 
in a, in a very steady pattern against the waves. And you can feel them rising and falling, and you can feel like it's growing ever so slightly. Um, as uh, Walton runs up, and you can overhear that the ship, thankfully, did not take any damage during the battle, and you guys had fended off anything that could cause trouble in the middle of the sea. So, as you guys rest up, you uh, at least are able to take um, a short rest, if you wish. Um, and if you wish to play a song, play a song of healing just in case. Play. How how much do I get back from a short rest? So that's your hit die. So you're able to well, use the amount of hit die you're allotted per day to heal up. So it should be um, okay. yes. But we don't get yes. a long rest. Not yet. For for right now, you guys are just relaxing after that really t- t- troubling troubling battle. Is it night time? Yes. I've gotta I gotta keep my army going. Okay. Do so you I cast? Once more upon your undead. Yeah. Do I get any spell slots left? Um, it depends. Um, you as a druid likely will regain in during a short rest your animal forms. Okay. Um, but I don't believe you gain spells. You just are able to recharge certain uh, okay. allotment of your animal changing. Okay. Yes. Just double check that in your player's handbook. Yeah. I think it's dependent on your spell level. I, just, I mean I your just level. Voted. Just level. <laughs> because I had some. Uh, Does anybody wish to do anything me. else during this short rest, this hour long rest? I probably won't take a rest. I will take a rest. I don't know what I'm going to do. I might also polish my arm. I I'm a pray to Lathander. Okay, so go ahead, pray. pray oh, you pray to Lathander? <laughs> do a deep <laughs> seated. What do, you, what do you say in your head? I say, Lathander, thank you for taking care of my friends today. I almost lost them. It was scary, but you came through. And also, I want Gaila to be happy, but I want him to be happy alone. Thank you. (laughs) 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 Against the crashing waves, Lilith plays her song. Walton start to do a little jig. Oh. Okay. You guys dance in the moonlight? <laughs> she always leads with the chest. This one. Yeah. I like it. <laughs> and now she turns into a hippie. <laughs> I'm chilling back. Fireball. <laughs> you can take your fireball. It's a fireball. fireball. <laughs> That's good. <great. laughs> I'm hanging out with you, Rowan. <laughs> okay. Throw it up. And I'm as I'm sitting um, in the corner for Lord. The music. Good plays. vocabulary for a little girl. <laughs> you catch behind you that um, Walton's dancing, and you can kind of see the uh, half orc wine, like tap his toes to it. Edna it looks finally calm while listening to the song of rest. I'm going to take a small cup and. Pour her some water, but I'm going to put just a little bit of the happiness potion in it. You might feel better if you drink this. Oh, um, oh, oh, oh. No, no, her. Oh, okay. Edna, Edna's very confused, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> for, the, for the, the little darling. Staring at the, the drawing. Thank you. Oh, it's very good. It looks pretty. Yeah. I'm going to make one for Edna, too. <laughs> Edna takes one as well. Everyone be happy. It's a very small amount, just enough to maybe like set a little bit of inner calm for like a few moments, but then it dissipates and you just feel so sad again. No, oh, that's not what I wanted. Oh. Heartbreak, man. No. <laughs> oh, no. Um, as this is happening, you catch that here is behind Lilith, like listening and tapping his foot as well, enjoying the music. And he looks over at you and he kind of catches that you just drank something and looks sad again. and. He kind of walks over and he sits next to you. Oh, Lord, have mercy. Hi, Gylon. Congratulations on your betrothal. I can't understand you, but I know it's nice what you're saying. Do you have your paper? And he kind of writes something out and he turns it to you and it says, I'm sorry. It's okay. He just takes his hand and pats your back 
three times <laughs> and then just stands up and just walks into the crow's nest. As she begins to cry, uh, the sky in itself gets darker and rain begins to fall. Oh, no. Sound of thunder in the distance. As you can see that I the moon. Yeah, it's starting to rain. I bring Lala now. underneath my hood. <laughs> and you guys are really feeling it. And as oh, you're pulling fun? your cloaks closer, and you guys are um, pushing the sails and attempting to make sure that the ropes are, everything's pushed in the right direction. Putting you my guys can tell. Away so it doesn't get ruined by the rain. Yes. You can tell that it's getting really strong, these rains. You can tell that it's going to be a torrential downpour as you're approaching whatever location you're approaching next. Um, it's so dark right now that the scene itself is almost matching the color of the sky and usually there's a beautiful reflection but right now it just looks like you're making your way in the deep sea of night during this rain into darkness. Should we just anchor down? Batten down the hatches! Isn't that what they say? I don't know. Um, we should we should trust mine. Let's yes. Be, yes, we should trust mine. Right. <coughs> So you run up to Wine, who's kind of just making sure that the boat, he's kind of on, on the steering wheel for the most part. And as you walk back to him, I believe the steering wheel's actually in the stern of the ship. So he's in the back, just I'm making sure everything. the mast tonight. You're clinging <laughs> onto the mast. Mm, in, the the <laughs> in the middle of the rain. In the middle of the rain. Hi, Make a dex check. Uh-oh. Oh, I'm, I'm under your head. Oh. <laughs> Nine. Okay, so you start to slip, and then oh. you just have to catch your hand I think and we pull can yourself up. I'm just gonna catch slide on her. Okay, <laughs> just in case. <laughs> Suddenly, you're able back. to hold on the mast. Ah, oh, yeah. great. <laughs> she wasn't pixie dust. <laughs> Thanks. Oh, this is great fun. <laughs> um, as you guys are riding these waves. Um, you start to hear calling out as you talk to Wine. He's like, oh yeah, yeah, we need help, we need help, please, please. The rain's so strong, go under, go under, under. I'm afraid we, we will have too much water on board, there will be trouble. And you can just overhear him screaming this, but he's shouting out orders um, to hear who's coming down from the nest and he's just starting to uh, work on the top sails and make sure that everything's pulled. He's like climbing like right against it and trying to turn things up at the top. It's a very strong wind, but it's not so much the wind, it's just the rain. It's heavy, heavy rain, as you can hear it kind of cash crashing down. And he's like, I, I think we got this. It's just I want, I don't want ladies to have wet hair. They don't like that. Go down. Wine, I'm going to stay up here. If you Fine. need help, oh. we are here to help. Mr. Bubbles helping. You help by making sure hulls does not break. And you go downstairs and you rest, you, f you hard fighters. Are you sure you don't need the I'll muscles? Rest. I can't do much. I to, <laughs> I'm very I strong. I need to rest up and get more spells. <laughs> he looks you at you and he's like, you, you are strong. I'm very strong. He's strong. If you want to stay atop ship, at the, you make sure that nothing goes bad. Okay, boom. I stand there. I go across. I'm staying up here too. <laughs> I go, go Actually, I'm not so strong, but I'm very acrobatic. You go? I go, go downstairs and I've got to cry myself to sleep because yeah. I need a long rest. Alrighty, oh. you do so. Go, go downstairs and to I will too. You will go downstairs. I'm, I'm gonna take. A, yeah. I'm gonna take a rest. Yeah, you guys go into the I'm, hold and I'm wherever I can yeah. be of use. You're going downstairs, Lola. I'm gonna sleep. I'm gonna go downstairs. Um, are you coming downstairs? I turn around and I look and I see everyone going downstairs and I'm like, all right, well, I'd be better go. <laughs> um, and I'd also go downstairs. I tell, I tell Mr. Bubbles to do whatever Wine says. Whatever Wine says. Okay, oh. so Mr. Bubbles just... <clears throat> just, but whatever I say goes more. <laughs> if I tell you, you listen to me first, uh, Wine second, okay? Uh, cool. <laughs> so he's gonna go help upstairs. Mm. He does, so very slowly. And my skeleton's still guarding the door. Okay, so your skeleton. <laughs> don't think I'm going He's ready with the water. Hand. Just hangs out by the door waiting to see if anybody comes out, if she comes out. Do you have form. a mini skeleton? Um, yeah, I, I did give, uh, did I give you the skeleton? Not I, today. Not today? Well, that's, that's upsetting. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> Rowan, uh, skeleton. do you have any He's gross. herb <laughs> left in your herbalism kit? I do, I'm starting to run a bit low. Oh. As the uh, boat is rocking to and fro, um, uh, you can hear the rain really pouring down on the top of the deck. Um, as this is happening, you hear a creaking within the bed that is currently the 
the vampire, it appears, is inside. You can just hear it. You can hear pacing. That. You still have the rig set up? The um, water bucket? <laughs> yeah, my skeleton is on it. So I'm upstairs, I don't know, I'm just Speaker, here. speaker is on it. Speaker. But right now, I'm trying to wake up to sleep. Okay. Before you went down there, I told you if you need me to <coughs> holler. Okay. <laughs> And you guys wish to spend the rest of your night? I. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. All right, so. I need a long rest. You do so, rocking not uh, to sleep with just the sound of the ocean tonight, but the sound of the pouring rain against it. Um, to some, if it were a more dangerous situation, if there was more damage to the ship, would be alarming. But thankfully, you guys sleep soundly enough, mm -hmm. though there are points when the ship is tilting a little too far left and right, and you do wake up in the middle of your slumbers. But you're still able to receive a long rest and the night passes safely. As the morning has now um, come about, you guys can hear and you, you almost feel it. The, the ship, it feels wet and you can tell that the moisture has seeped in from the planks because this isn't the strongest boat in the world. As you can tell that there's some moisture in the air, but you hear just faint drizzling. And it seems like you guys have made it through the most tumultuous part of whatever sort of storm was brewing. Anyone have any breakfast? I have some rations. <coughs> we have food, remember I made a lot. Oh, oh yeah. I come downstairs, good morning. Man. Oh, we could go me? fishing, Rowan. Morning. Could? Actually, what did you say? Said? Sorry. Morning, hello. Good morning. Okay. <laughs> I was up all night, so I'm going to go uh, sleep while you guys find food. Oh. How's the weather today? Yeah. It's okay. It's a little like, you know, um, fresh from the, from the rain, but everything's wet. Radish guy, you're my hero. Thanks for keeping the boat on. Anything going for right. your kid. Thank you. I'm going to take a beauty nap. <laughs> you don't get like this from staying up all night. <laughs> you see that the scales under her eyes are a little more sunken in than they should be. <laughs> I'll take a nap. <laughs> you walk down there, you curl up into one of the bed rolls and you sleep. Um, the rest of you guys, uh, if you wish, do go upstairs and you can catch that the sun is breaking through ever so slightly. There's a heavy layer of, cl of uh, clouds still, as far as I can see, but you can tell that through the clouds is the pressing sun and there's like a mist kind of happening, kind of when like the sun is trying to heat something that is cold or has been cold or is trying to evaporate that water on the, on the boat. I'd like to check and see if there's... Um, any fishing rods or any? Sort there's of actually been there's been quite a few. You guys have fished, I think, oh, once or twice done. before okay, already. Yes. <laughs> so you do so. You cast it out. Can I have you roll a survival check? Sure. Thank you. Eight. Eight. So you cast it out and you kind of whistle to yourself, and the boat continues to press again in that direction northwest. You're going to be waiting a little while before you catch anything. Nothing quick. I air up my cloak to dry. All right, you do so. It's kind of wet in the air, and you feel like it might take mm -hmm. until the sun breaks actually through to dry it, but you hang it up at least, so it's out Wind. of the way. Lilith, what are you doing? I'm trying to catch some fish for us to eat. I want to try, too. Sounds like fun, maybe. Sure. Let's give it, I hand her my fishing rod. Right. Cast it out. Roll a survival check. <laughs> By the way, I can find food for everyone, <laughs> every day, me and up to five people, you need me. I, I mean, I made 45 pounds of food a couple of days ago, so we're oh. good. You up for not food, baby? <laughs> I just thought maybe it would help baby. keep my mind off of things. I'm sorry I called you baby that came out of nowhere. <laughs> <laughs> That's Are you shouting odd. this from like the top? Janishka has from, her own. Yeah, yeah, it's it's from the boat. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No. Um, as this is happening, uh, you're shouting it up uh, from the bottom because you were sleeping, right? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> making sure. Yeah. We're up here. Um, Edna's just up, yeah, in the front of the, in the boat and the ship kind of looking out for a bit. Um, and here's up in the crow's nest. Um, <clears throat> can I have everybody who's on the top of the boat roll a perception check? Mm -hmm. I'm on, on the boat, on the boat. Yes! Oh, that's you. 15. Yeah. Wow. I think it's just, uh, yep. Wow. 18. Oh. 18 as well. Okay. Four. I rolled nice. That's because you threw it this at This time them. I saw two birds. There's <laughs> some air out here. The two of There's you are there. very there. preoccupied with doing wait. the, like, mom and daughter fishing trip that you guys are doing right now. Oh. Um, <laughs> <laughs> a little with the fishing rods over the edge of the boat. <laughs> However, the rest of you, um, 
do you catch that in the far distance, um, though it's misty and it's hard to see beyond maybe 60 feet of where the boat currently is with the way that the uh, water's evaporating and breaking against the morning light, you can tell somewhere in the deep distance there's like a dark shadow to the left, something that looks off-colored. Like there's a white mist, but there's like a gray mist pushing to the left. And you guys are heading straight for it right now. I'm gonna go up I can't see anything. to where wine is. Saying? Uh, and then and sort of point it out and say, do you, do you know what that is? The, the, the odd... He doesn't wear glasses. Mist. <laughs> um, far in the distance. It's, it's a dark color. Uh, it could be just many things. Uh, it is misshapen, and maybe another boat. Is there an island? No, no island I know of from here, but uh, shape like boat. A Another dark boat, long boat. Another oh. boat? Yes. Sh yeah. I must turn. Should we be worried? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, why should we be worried? We about don't want boat? to go into boat. Well, no. sure, but if, if it's a wreck or something, if someone was injured in the storm last night, we should... A mist Or what if it's pirates? Or it's pirates like and, and we punch them. A magical punch. boat? Wait, is the boat made of mist? No, it's just... It's just a, like a dark a shadow dark against shape. the mist. Oh. <laughs> in the I'd like, like to look it for a spy glass. What? I'd like to look for spyglass. Spyglass? Um, Telescope. It, it would be if you, yeah, make an investigation check to see if you can like find something oh, that might be played Natural there. 20. Okay, <laughs> so <laughs> it's kind of it's kind of confusing because you think to yourself, well, someone must have a spyglass, right? So you like run around and assume that maybe here up in the crow's nest has one, you find out he doesn't, you look down, you look everywhere. Um, it takes a little bit of time, but you find something that you think you can almost um, construct together that would be a spyglass, like a small Arrow? monocle that like looks like Saxon's old monocle do? and like a tube, and then you just affix everything together and you get the right kind of <laughs> shape on it. You do a little druid craft, you need to make it look pretty, and <laughs> you now have um, what Crikey. appears to be a, a spyglass. <laughs> All right, so make a perception check with your spyglass. Fine Dutchman. Uh, 13. 13, okay. So as you're looking with your kind of <laughs> makeshift spyglass. Um, you can see that it, the, the fog just hits against the, the lens to a point that it doesn't, it does help you see closer and the shape in itself is kind of billowed on the bottom and then like large, like you can see dark kind of patches on the top, but like you cannot make out what it is right now. Would anyone else like to have a glimpse through my, my spyglass? I'll take a look. <laughs> the boat slowly rocking against it. 18. Oh. How far away is it? It's hard plus to tell. All your perception. Sixteen plus. Oh. But we're not about to like ram right into it. Not that you know, because Maybe. you can see at least sixty feet in front of you. That's all you can see right now. Oh, but can Drunishka? Doesn't Drunishka have fancy eyes? Fancy eyes. <laughs> yeah, <we're> fancy eyes. <laughs> your your She's eagle eyes. Big, we don't want to wake her. What do you see with but your if fancy it's eyes? Important. Mm -hmm. I don't want to run afoul of this boat. What does Lilith see? I think that Drunishka Here, does Lilith see. turn the boat ever so slightly towards the right, so that way you guys are at Can least going to not be heading directly towards whatever the shadow mound is. I rolled an 18. An 18. Okay. So as you guys, no matter what, are pushing closer to this dark fog. Is it there, magical? You, <laughs> you get a little bit closer to it, and you're able to kind of see through the break a little bit more than what you guys have witnessed. And the shape is getting larger and larger in size. And as it approaches closer, you can tell that it's definitely a ship. It's just you can't see who's on it, what's on it, if it's stopped or if it's moving. But there's a ship there. How many miles away? It's not miles at this point. It looks like it's maybe oh. from the shape for what you can gauge with your perception check, but 500 feet away. I'm gonna fly down, That's I'm gonna close. grab Vanishka. It's very, very close. Oh. I'm going to get my scimitar ready. What's happening? Just in There's case. a boat or something. Can you use your fancy, fancy your, eyes? Your fancy eyes? Fancy can eyes. you see Which with your special eyes? Yes, darling, you're both your dragon eyes. Really <laughs> <laughs> I can see up to a mile <laughs> a with my fancy eyes <laughs> with no difficulty. Okay. I can discern fine details no more than 100 feet away. But I can see. Perhaps you'd like up to a mile with no difficulty. Yeah, that's true. Dim light, but you can see a hundred feet away. It's the spyglass again. It's the fog. The uh, fog just—it's not—it's not dependent on your and perception. What do I the fog see? does not allow you to see through it until you get closer. Uh, can I just shout, "Hello there"? 
up to a mile with that? no difficulty. Where, 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 Fine where, where, details. Why are you making that face at me? You're just you're shouting yeah. 500 yeah. feet away no, towards yeah. the shape. I'm a, a, I'm a mile with here. no it's difficulty, like but fine details on their feet. So I can I see mine. a mile away, yeah, no but, difficulty. But with something like fog, you would that would be something that would adhere. It, it essentially pro dim light doesn't impose this advantage. Not dim light though. We would have to look it up in your totem, but I'm fairly certain in the Why specifics of your totem. I'm just woken up from a nap for this. Go back to bed. Go back to I don't want to sleep anymore. <laughs> I want to drink. Right. I, I, I get the I magic thingy and I fucking. Right, you're gonna take a point of exa exhaustion if you don't sleep. I'm going to sleep. Goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like no points. So she, so you continue <laughs> to sleep. You've gotten about half, like four hours okay. in at this right. point, but Good. you still need like an extra two. Okay. Um, I tried at least. So, as you guys are pushing closer and closer, here Sorry. is trying to turn. But even with the amount of time that he would have had to react to this, it's not enough. As you shout, um, just make a performance check to try to shout through loud, tumultuous waters and faint, drizzling rain. I'm a noble woman, I don't perform. Uh, oh, okay, I guess I'm all right at it. <laughs> Twelve. Twelve. Okay. Not the worst. You shout in that direction, and you think that you see something glowing suddenly. Can I... Whisper requiter to my scimitar and set it on fire and hold it up like a beacon. Yes, you do so. Should I be doing this? I'm going to do it anyway. You Why see not? something Fuck glowing it. in the distance, What's a faint light. light. Make a perception check. <laughs> really? Yep. Okay. Oh. Always the one that's the least perceptive. That's, what is that, a seven? Yeah, it's a seven. Seven? It's hard to see, but it just something got brighter in the fog, in the, in the dark fog. There's some fog out there. You guys are getting very close now. I go try to see what I see. Yeah, me too. As you guys get nearer and nearer, uh, roll perception checks. You guys are currently like passing it, I but just up the barely. Like a it's just bullet. 19. And I tell you to see. 10. Oh, eight. Not really look. Okay. 19. All 19. Die. So right now, and what's your name? <laughs> My pixie friend. <laughs> Is it a natural one? Okay. <laughs> all right. So all of you guys can kind of see through the fog. Uh, you, as you're guys. trying to fly forward to look at things, I'm gonna say you get caught in Moira's cape and you're like, you're trying to <laughs> fight against what? it for a little bit. Why are you here? I'm just like, pull I was trying to look. <laughs> I got lost. You get pretty tangled. The rest of you though, as you're getting closer and closer to the shape, you can suddenly see a break in the fog, almost like a break in the fog where it's like inviting you. And as you see the fog break, you just see a glowing, creature on an old ship that is not moving mm -hmm. with its hand forward. It's not approaching. Some Katrinich got You catch that the hair is billowing backward and you can just see it's a woman and her hands just out, just torn clothes, just long fingers. Someone grab the spyglass. She's too good to is be she true. A lich? Is she a lich? Looking. Hello? Is it a lich? Looking. Is my person a witch? Witch? any better? What do we see? What do we know? <laughs> she see through the spyglass? Make a perception check on the spy, spyglass. Good. And you guys are pushing to the eight. left of it as she's just reaching out to you. A what? Eight. An eight? It's hard to see. Like, it's foggy. It's it's a oh, glowing woman. You said there was a break in the fog. There's a break, but not with the perception of eight with a spyglass. <laughs> <laughs> she's she's like looking through I'm the going fog. to sing. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, make a performance check, I guess. <laughs> performance. What did I get? 24. Nice. Okay. She's performing as fuck. Yeah. So you are you are truly singing your little heart out there. Um, <laughs> um, she begins to sing back. And you can hear her singing, and you hear a song that you've heard before, like a sea shanty, that she begins sea to sing shanty. to you. Yeah, yeah. And it's like this old song, and she she sings to you, and she goes, um, "I'm just gonna do it. Why not?" Uh, 
The wind swept seas may break your backs, but come because you see. Near or far you go, the path towards your destiny. It's too good to be true. And if you do not follow me, follow me. And you just hear it. Follow me. Oh no. Is she, is she, is she going charming us or something? Where? She's just a hand, and she's starting, you're starting to push in a different direction. Can we stop, stop can we stop the boat? I, I, I don't know if I stop both. I, I, this is difficult to do. I can't she's turn. She's not going to follow her. Do you I, want me to stop? Stop. Oh, to, what do you see? You I hear music. Well, it was nice. Yes. But she's this not is what we got earlier. This is. She's not in the letter, I don't even know but the letter. I'm not up here. What if she's like a, sp a spirit that's been trapped here? Can I use my divine sense? Yes. Um, you open up your divine sense. You are Wait. within, a, 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 is it 60 feet or is it 120 right now? <laughs> Let's find out. You guys are still somewhere because... around 80 feet away. And Wait, but it says left is the answer. But then it says keep going left. Is she to our left? She is. It's 60 feet. <gasps> I say we follow oh, her. She's left. What is that? It's left. So you open it up. You're not close enough. You're just on the cusp as you guys are turning the uh, against the current. What? Wait, the letter says to go left, and she's to our left. But that's also the scary lady, right? She what? wrote that. Should we listen to oh, But if we, yeah, yeah, that's yeah, where we're going. Uh, um, you must travel across the fallen stars. That's where we are. Left is the answer, and keep going left. And I'd she's like, to our left. I'd like to roll in. After the painful light, go north. Sure. What painful yeah. light? Uh, we're not no, there yet. We're not there yet. But she is a, a being of light, so right? She is, a, she is a bright white light. Let's I'd follow her. Glowing. I'm rolling in sight, too. I'm right. rolling in sight as well. I'm sleeping. Because the painful light is El Tagad. I don't know what that means. I don't know, that's the name of the place where the painful light is. How do you know? Because I wrote it down. We Eleven. read it sometime. I don't remember. I wrote it down. That's what Rowan I wrote. Oh, I that. Six. Six. Okay, so the, the two of you, uh, who will be 18 one more time? You. So the two of you are having a little bit of trouble understanding what the intention here is. You see this woman, and you see her hand out, and you recognize whose face it is. <gasps> it's Hammond. <gasps> Who? Oh, she is the vampire from she downstairs. Wait, I'm not here. <laughs> Wait, let's go over there. Wait, no, she's she the got out. One. Wait, we can't remember. She's, she's the died. only one that knows. No, she's the only one that knows right now. Guys, we don't know. It's Talon. Uh, it's Talon. Wait, but she's the vampire Talon. She got out of Wait, the room. Remember how she died? And then Saxon, is this where she died? Saxon <gasps> probably needed her to get through this part. <gasps> let's go left. Let's go talk you to her. You guys are getting further right. and further away. Go left, go left. No, All right, so you, you tell Wine to How turn back around. We're just sleep. shouting at Wine. Go left. Okay. Go to go go left. And here starts to pull things. People are, they're listening to you. They're starting to turn. You guys are, have kind of passed through it, but you guys are able to turn in time against the mist. So left is the boat answer. is turning in the direction you need. Oh, I want to go downstairs exciting. and talk to her. Okay. And sort of like push Sneaker a little bit out of the way and say, don't, don't drop the water on me. Don't you dare. Sneaker, did you hear what she said? Just you wait. say it through one of the whole the floorboards. <laughs> floor like with your hey, eye in sneaker, it. Sneaker, don't don't pull the plug. Listen to Moira, okay, friend? The skeleton backed off from the from the place that he would pull the rope. Thank I'm you, still Sneaker. On your shoulder. Sure. You wanna be? Yeah, this is okay. this right I'm going now. to Downstairs. Yes. You knock three times. What's going Not on? on you, for her. Okay. You sleep. Don't okay. don't be don't be exhausted. Oh, God, God. You need you need all your health. Okay. The door opens. Tamit? She's there. She's just she's sleeping. Tamit. <laughs> Wake up. Hello? Hello? Tamith. Tamith, um I think this is going to sound very weird, but I think we may have found your body. Or, or your, your spirit. Ghost. Or your ghost or something. I don't quite understand it. We saw, uh, well, we didn't see. Our little cleric saw um, a glowing figure with your face your out face? in the, yes, out in the water. I mean, can you can you go out during the day? No. No. Uh, what if it's very foggy and there's no sunlight? I might be able to, but um, if there's any water, it, it will hurt my skin. No, we're not. Uh, it's lately, it's lately raining. Can we, can can we, we like cloak you? Wrap wrap you in it. Uh, 
I don't, I don't want to go towards Wait, anything like ring, that. I don't. Catcher. That sounds scary. What about the rain catcher? Wait, what if is it? Can, can, it it's water. It holds water, so wouldn't it repel water if we drape it over her? It's a, it's like a barrel, I think. Is it a barrel? I thought our rain catchers were cloth. Are they? Is there not a wind chill? I just assumed. Can, uh, is there a what wind chill? rain catchers? I hear rain catchers. Your rain my catchers. Head. They would probably be made out of some sort of, um, uh. Some sort of leaf that is like uh, has a wax on it that is able to catch the rain because you guys receive yeah, them in the jungle. Put, what if uh, we just like cover her with those? If I could destroy fog in a thirty foot cube within range, would that that's not rain though? Yeah, it's not. It's I should have said that earlier. <laughs> <laughs> Can we? Um, is there Oops. a window in her room? No, um, in the ship it's very, fairly basic. There's no windows letting you see out. See out. Well, Tamith, because it has your face, we assume it might have something to do with you. It might, but I cannot leave during the day. I must go out at night, and then I cannot go out if there is water and it's raining. I, I, I'm going to get... It's going to burn. I'm just going to... I'm going to leave. I'm going to fly around. I'm going to get everyone's rain catchers. Okay, so you do so. You fly around. So everyone who was in Chol. Give me a rain catcher. We're going to try and cover you entirely. Except I don't want for your to go. I don't, I don't want to. I will like to persuade check. her. Oh, okay. I'm, I'm not there. I follow Lala down the stairs. Oh. <laughs> like I'm, 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 I'm helping catcher. her. Well, I have to carry all of them. <laughs> Surely you can't carry them. A persuasion? Them, but then I have to unshrink them. But. Uh, it's a 12. She's it's really scared and she's backed yeah. into a corner and she's like shaking her head. Like she's very frightened by what you're describing. Very well, very well. What if it's all right? If we're still following this thing with your face at night, will you come upstairs? M maybe if it's night, I won't be as afraid as long as it's not raining. Yes. I'm going to try to show her how waterproof the rain catchers are. Okay. By like getting some water and pouring it on the rain catcher. And be like, look! <laughs> She's freaking out. It's water. Okay. Um, like, a little but, close. But I'm not like. Yeah, but it is <laughs> with Sandy. I'm outside the door. It's in your face. Just it like, is hey, I'm just like, look. <laughs> It's, it's enough, but even when you string together all of the rain catchers, even if you sewed them together, it's enough to maybe, it's like a small patch, but it's not enough to I stop rain against the whole body. We'll, we'll fly wait. over here and act like a we'll giant wait. We'll wait right. for, for nightfall. Tell uh, stand by. I say we just go. I don't want to put her in. Towards the apparition. I agree. I've been okay. upstairs I'm watching upstairs the too. apparition. If it matters, my persuasion. Upstairs too. Was a seventeen. Go back to school. it. Yeah. You're you're showing her, and she seems like comforted by the fact that the rain isn't like hitting that, and it's catching it. But from the size of the rain catcher in itself, which is not huge, it's like a, a rain catcher is fairly small. She's still really uncomfortable with the idea of having like the small little kind of cape around her. Um, as you're all persuading her, you you're just watching vehemently the shape calling towards you with her hand out. Um, it. A younger like version of her though like you're staring at this ghost and you can tell that like the skin is more refined and her her face there's not as many breaks within the body like she, Tamith has like a lot of cuts or battle wounds on the body that she currently has things that show that she's gone through a lot whereas this one looks like a younger version of her um, <laughs> if she's kind of holding her hand out she hasn't moved from the edge of the boat she's just and the boat looks wrecked as they're getting closer to you. there's there's all of these different kind of grown in seaweed and, sh and shells and, and corals that have kind of made themselves manifested into the boat. So the boat looks like rooted into the ground um, as you're approaching very slowly, starting to get closer and closer to this as the boat's slowly turning around. I'm going to use the chamber pot while I'm downstairs. All right. <laughs> when I, <laughs> I want to talk to Moira. Oh, you're up here, right? Yes, I just came upstairs. So what happened? Uh, she does not want to come upstairs. Tamith is terrified of the rain. And the she sun. And the sun. Perhaps we anchor down? What I think we might try doing, I was going to see if you could cast fly on me and we could go over to the boat and oh, stand yeah, I can on do her that. boat. Anyone else want to come? Can come, how many flies oh. can we cast? Oh. oh, yeah, we did that wrong last time. Uh, a t two? If, wait, did we decide that flight as a racial spell, was a second level spell for me? I have to double check that. Because it's a third or fourth level spell, but yeah. as a pixie, I get it. Do you get it more? So yeah. I, I don't know if I was with you when we discussed that. No, well, I remember you guys discussing it. I had it as a first level spell, and then second. during the stream, Mercer was like, 
make it a second level spell. Oh, okay. And I was like, well, then we'll okay. keep it with Mercy's Rule. No, we'll okay, Mercy. I'll fair. hop on um, over. Fine. Then okay. Yes, we could, we could um, get Rowan's water walk and I'll go or up on the water. I'll <laughs> just again. cast flight on go. both of you and not have oh. any more second level spells. There we go. Yes. We can do that. We'll go over. It's like use it very often. Yep. Okay. We'll, go, we'll go over to Boop. the float. So I just fly light. over them and shake my pixie dust on them. I have a keep watch from here, and I have my crossbow up. On the ready? Okay. Prep the crossbow. My porcupine crossbow. You guys kind of haphazardly like float in the sky and finally get it. You know, it's a lot like Wendy and you know Michael and James. As you guys are flying through the fog, um, pushing closer, and now getting a much better eagle kind of eagle eye view on the ship. Um, you can tell that the inside of the ship looks caved in. As you're looking on one side of it, it's all completely fallen apart. It's really only half a ship. And you guys are approaching the half of the ship that's still standing. And there's a bunch of rocks nearby that kind of come out from the earth. And apparently this ship at some point had crashed against, these, against the rocks and then stayed here. Um, you're looking at the wood. The wood looks old, um, ancient. I mean, like it's, it, the wood in itself appears to have been withered away, but it's like a dark, deep wood that really is hard to tell where it could be coming from off the top. Make a nature check, you guys. How much longer must I sleep? <clears throat> oh, are you kidding me? 19. <sighs> Seven. A one? What is this? This is not my day. A one? I yeah. Just don't feel good. Okay, and you're? <laughs> Seven. Seven. 19. Okay, so Lala, <laughs> unfortunately, as you're trying to look down, um, you don't even realize it, but you flew right into one of the masts of the ship that was jutting out. Um, okay. You're gonna take, uh, that'll be uh, four points of bludgeoning damage oh, as you really? hit your head against the mast, trying to look. The two of you um, are able to kind of hover above just enough, and this wood looks, you, you can't tell what the wood looks like, but you two. I can tell that it's very close to my face. Very close to your face, yes. <laughs> you almost want to look at it. it with. Um, <laughs> but the two of you, uh, you can see that it's a familiar wood. You've seen this wood before, and you, it looks like the like wood that once maybe was similar to the woods of the Gnath wood that you guys came out of. Petrified wood. Wow. I'm not. I don't see anything. It, it looks like the petrified wood that we saw earlier. Can you make a boat out of that? I, I was just thinking that. Can you make a boat out of petrified wood? Wouldn't that come up with it, it, it does doesn't tools. appear petrified, but it appears to we're be yeah, we're in the, similar the oh. color and shape, close to what that. It, you can just tell from really looking at the grains that the shape of the grains are very distinct in the petrified wood that you had seen. This looks like unpetrified version of that wood. Oh, um, yes. Interesting. Is there anything else on board? Can I look for any, like, personal effects, anything that would have told us so about So are you guys like person? formally standing on the boat as you guys are flying? Yes. Okay. I am. As you guys are flying, I'll very cl it. slowly I'm the just... boat's creaking closer and closer, closer. <coughs> you guys are about to give anchor um, right around this location. Um, you can hear wine kind of saying, this is very shallow water here, this shallow ground. Oh, I, no. I can throw anchor and I hit something. Oh. He says that. Um, as you guys- I'd yeah. like to roll. Perception to see yeah. how deep the water is where we are. Okay. Ooh, not 20. Not 20? Ooh. Okay, so that'd be 22. It appears that right around this location where the rocks kind of surface and break against this, um, it's maybe 30 feet deep. It's not much. Okay. And you can tell it's just enough for a boat to maybe glide across, but without a large hole. I'm going to sing back <laughs> to our boat. <laughs> it's about the Why no? <laughs> <laughs> How did they get over there? Lovely. I'm up from the chamber. All right. So you, do, do you want to roll a perception check with disadvantage to see if you hear those voices? Singing? Yes, yeah. darling. <laughs> Ooh, sixteen. Can I do it again? Yeah. Eighteen. All right. Ow. That's Wait, enough. And then it was twenty and it was eighteen. Twenty and eighteen. eighteen. That's enough to like stir and hear people like Damn. what you think to be like singing birds for a moment, but then you realize it's your a familiar voice. I sound like a bird. <laughs> and you catch that. <laughs> she's looking through another one of the little holes. And oh, says she's that downstairs. She, she was me? watching you. Down she needs through the floorboards. Um, little one, was that your singing? 
Both times, yes. <laughs> wow, very different range of skill there. <laughs> really have a, you can Realize throw your voice so easily. My character sheet's wrong. How'd they get over I should have a plus three to wisdom instead of a zero. <laughs> I like this new dice. As you guys I was are seeing less birds than I was. <laughs> um, singing, you, you rolled a perception check, correct? You were rolling perception, or were you just rolling? Mm -hmm. okay. Perception, yeah. So you guys so are well just checking kind of to see how deep the boat goes. Besides just the water, you catch that this boat in itself is about somewhere between 25 feet high, at least in its original height. You can see that the creature who had been reaching out, the moment you guys get close enough, somewhere within 30 feet of floating nearby the actual boat in itself, she starts to drop, she drops her hand and she just turns and she starts to float towards you guys. Um, okay. Am I upstairs? We come upstairs. You guys have just made anchor towards, towards, towards the people flying. So I guess it would be you, you and you as you have approached the ship. She is now floating towards you guys. Is she off the ship too? or are we She's on the ship. Oh, so you guys we're were like on, looking. On the ship and you guys she's are floating like nearby it, but the moment you got a little too close, she's starting to fly towards you. I I, th I feel okay about this. She's floating very I'm not, slowly. I'm not going to walk I, away. I've come upstairs and said, why are our friends flying by a ship with a woman with long fingers and flowing hair who looks thing. like the vampire in the bottom? We're finding out what's happening. I have my crossbow. Get on that crossbow. Just I in get case. On this one. Are we, but is it there or there? It is there. Yeah, it's it here. would be right there. So I guess we're going to have to use this map, probably this bottom map, okay. as like the reflective ship. And you guys are actually pulled a little bit closer. You had anchored away about, I think, 30 feet, I said, right? Maybe 5, 10, 15. Yeah, so right around there, we'll say, is where you guys and drew. And right okay, on the top. So, right at the top, you guys are flying over this here. Over yeah, here, this we're like <laughs> here. <laughs> okay, what is happening? Oh, I lighted, I lighted on the boat. Oh. I'm going to, oh my She's god. Are you oh. I'm, I'm going to stand on the boat. Her I'm going, really I'm going to like, like, I want to like this. put my feet down on the boat. If well, okay. I hit a mast, so I'm probably just sitting on it. Um, <laughs> you do so. Um, it takes a moment as you guys see her, and she starts to float very closely to you. And then she stops for a moment, and she's just floating in the middle, kind of right by the ship where at least the ship once was. She's like walking almost as if her feet would be hitting where the boat was, but there's nothing underneath her except just broken rubble and stone. Can I look for personal effects? What are you looking for exactly on her? Not on the, her, on if there's anything on the ship that like, I'm sure it's old, but I don't even know. Supplies, anything that would tell us anything about this party that, that had the boat. Just make a make a perception check as you're looking around. Half the boat has caved in, mm -hmm. um, so it's hard to see. My perception's actually plus three because it's a wisdom roll. Oh, stupid. <laughs> 20, dirty 20. Okay. What you can see as you're looking around is nothing of use in terms of maybe at least at first glance, you can catch that somewhere deep below there seems to be some barrels that are still kind of turned over and bobbing in the water, but half rotted away. Um, you can see below you that there also seems to be some sort of chest that's down there uh, a little bit deeper in the water, and with the break of day and just the right amount of light, you can see that there is some sort of chest down there. How long has it been since I cast flight on this? Probably been about, right now, 10 minutes. Is are they going down? I, I already said that I'm alighted yeah. on, the, on the boat. I'm we're standing on the boat. Oh, is it a 10 minute flight spell? Yes. Oh, that's right. Okay. Well, um, I, d I don't have any more spell slots to cast flight on you guys again, so. Great. Okie dokie. So as you're looking <laughs> around, <out> later. <laughs> you can also catch that this boat seems to have gone through um, some sort of war. And that's what you pick up on. Okay. Um, relay the information, obviously, that this And you guys kind of get related as... Just want to fly down. Go, yeah, go to I'm gonna fly down. To the chest so to and try to open it. Yeah, is it open? No. It is then I'm chest. going to try. This is a warship. Yes. Pick it with my thieves' tools. Um, as you that's try, try as you try to yes. open the chest, oh, the creature who had been floating towards you guys, her eyes ignite <gasps> with anger. Touch it. And her mouth grows five times the size as you hear a scream. Oh, a and we're gonna roll initiative. A oh, no. I'm all right. <laughs> I 
have to be the moment you touch always. the chest and try to open it was the moment that this will happen. We'll say that at the top of your turn, we'll find out the answer. That goes really well. All right, so we'll hold on to that for a okay. moment. All right. Yeah, fun mm. stuff, you guys. I've always lasted battle. <laughs> All right, let me pull her up one second. When we were doing two, I was <laughs> doing like five. All right. I'm trying to. Wait, why is that? All right. Getting a, Brandy, she's getting a massage later. The animal handling is a All right. That, that what is. What are you doing? Oh, you you All right, so 20 and above, please. Little hands. 20 and above, anybody? Okay, 20 to 15. 18. 18. 17. 17 from Lara, okay. And then um, 15 to 10? 13. 14. 10. 13, 14, 10. So 14, Nishka. Lala, you're 13? Yes. And then Rowan, where are you? 10. 10. And then below 10? V. <laughs> <laughs> and what was that? 4. 4? For no idea on the ball. Not the quickest on her feet. Um, I will say that as this is happening, you hear a scream from what seems to be Edna as well, right back at the ghost creature. <laughs> um, as you can tell that everyone else on the boat like looks to you guys in panic and just starts to try to pull up the anchor and take care of things to try to get out. No! No? Stay here. You, okay, so you scream stay here as they kind of like stop mid-motion. Like, we can't leave our friends, they're stuck over there on the, the other boat. Okay, they nervously look at you and they look around for spears and weaponry to try to help, but they were a little, uh, it, they wanted to get out, fight or flight moment. Right Don't there. panic. Okay. All right, let's begin. <laughs> Remain calm. I'm going to cast <clears throat> bestow, oh, sorry. No, it's fine. So top of the turn. Lilith, you're first. I'm yes. I'm going to walk up to her. And okay. I'm going to cast Bestow Curse. Okay. What does that do? And while cursed, um, the target must make a wisdom saving throw at the start of each of its turns. If it fails, it wastes its action that turn and does nothing. Yes. Hmm. Do you mind if I see the spell Bestow Curse really quickly? Sure. Thank you. Beep, 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 beep. I will see. I've changed the spell, but I've never used All right, it. So you have to touch her, so you touch her? Yes, okay. that's why I walked Do the ants just try to kill people? Yep. Okay. They want blood. Like the ants are basically vampires. Yes. <laughs> Is that a, are you trying to tell me something there? I, I saying that you have a bloodlust. Blood I don't know if I can do that. All right, because that's too. There we go. That's Sorry about the erase and erase. I don't know if OK, so I do that. And then, okay. um, oof. well, she's made. Is she made of mist? One second. Okay. Uh, made of mist is what you're asking me. Uh, what is she made of? It's hard to tell. Can I roll? To, to, uh, make an intelligence check. Sure. Okay. And then you said the still curse is on her turn, correct? She rolls a wisdom save. You're Eleven, saying? by the way. Yes. It's hard to tell, but the, the, it's like a it's like a form that doesn't seem to be consistent with the mist you see. If she is mist, it's made of some other sort of mist that you don't know. All right. All right. Okay. So that's your turn. Unless you have a bonus action, you wish to do. I do have a bonus action. So I guess so she's probably mad at us. Unless bestow curse is a bonus action, I think that's a full action. No. Okay. Um, it's a full action. Um. Well, she seems angry, so um, I'm going to, can I put her to sleep? You can try. I would like to try to put her to sleep. Okay, and is that with a full, uh, can you cast sleep a bonus? Bonus? a bonus? I don't know. I don't think so. I think sleep oh. is a, a main spell. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Um, I think so. Hold on to that, but look it up, and if not, then we'll go back and I'll give you your bonus. Okay. Action. All right, as you look it up. All right, Moira. Moira, Moira. Ha! Okay, I don't even know. I'm going to get right up on her as well. Okay. Um, so that she has all of my bonuses. Mm -hmm. um, it's an enchantment. It's an enchantment. But does it say bonus action or full action on the spell? It's one action. So it would be a full action. Awesome. Okay. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Moira, what would you like to do, darling? Oh. Uh, Go to sleep? No, I'm going to cast a moonbeam on her, uh, and it's only the five 
foot radius where yes, she Yes, it's from a five uh, spot within a five can foot radius. Can you cast radius. sunlight so if she's a vampire? It she... will hit everything around it within. So it's from a point and then it's five feet around that point. You can cast it behind her. Yeah. Okay. So you do so. So that's going to illuminate. I, I kind of am going to, I think what we're going to use just to be kind of can weird here. If you can put within all of those, it should be six, uh, these D6s within the spell of Moon Babe. So we just have a visual on that. Yeah, yeah. We have to make sure that each there's one die in each square. One die in each square. Yep. So that represents where the moonbeam is. Yep. I thought it, it's only a five foot radius. Yes, yeah, it's a radius. Of, so you cast it from a five foot point. From what I've experienced with moonbeam. And then it, you should actually have two more die. Yeah. Behind there. Yeah. So each one of those. Yeah. yeah. And let me double check the spell. I'm fairly certain it's not just a five foot square, but a five it's five foot um, radius. Forty feet. Forty feet from up. Above and, yeah. And, and it's five a five foot feet. radius. Yeah. Radius of five, so that would be the correct shape. All right, so you cast it, whoosh, it shatters down upon her, and I believe she has to make a, a you have to roll for damage, and she has to make a save. Yes. Mm -hmm. it's going to how, be the, how does the moonbeam hurt her? Ten. It does radiant damage. Bright energy that's 40 feet high. And like mm. It's a beam of light from his helm. Yes. He opened his eyeball and went, don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, mm -hmm. so it's a, a, da a damage of nine for the moonbeam, so that's going to hold the nine. And what's the save that she needs to Constitution. have? Constitution. It's a con save? And yep. what's the what's the spell save? My DC is 11. 11? Yes. And it's con? Yeah. All right, so she fails that. Oh. So she's going to take the full wow. nine. <gasps> right? Top of the turn, and then every time she ends her turn, is it at the beginning of her starts turn or at the end? Or, um, starts or moves into it, yeah. Starts the top of her turn into yep. it or moves into it. So if she moves out, then she'll be okay. All right, thank you. But I, can I move it? I don't think I can, actually. Uh, Moonbeam, I think you can move. Let me double check. Say. It might be from one location. Those oh cards sometimes get a little funky. Let me okay. look in the player's I can, handbook. I can look. You can go to No, 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 it's turn. good. It's good for me to know this, too. I don't know to I usually have a pretty good memory with this stuff, but I like to, you know, it's good to be an informed DM, you It's guys. a big book. It's a, it's a good There's thing. There's a lot of stuff. I once, oh, I once wrote down spells words, and started testing man. myself on it to see if I can memorize them. It's crazy. All right, let's see. Mm. If I get close enough, I can cast one more. OP, LMNOP, you guys. Moonbeam. Just <laughs> right. Right oh, here. Oh. Tell why why if I have good. wings if I'm oh, a dragon. Closer. Maybe it's lofted. You're like a giant Komodo dragon. Funny, because right here's dragon and barbarian. Mm -hmm. It's you. I know. It's you. <laughs> you. Yeah, you cast it from it. It doesn't look like you can move it. Oh, no, you can't. Right here. On each of your turns, after you cast this spell, you can use an, an action to move the beam 60 feet in any direction. So you can use your action to move the beam, but it will, will be your action to move it, okay? That's and then fine. as you're casting that, um, you you need to remember the amount of damage. Just I'm going to write it here, but it's okay. nine, so that way every top of the turn if she ends in it, just so you have a point of reference for it, too. All right, I cool. Like that spell. Mm -hmm. So you see this moonbeam shatter down upon her form. Yep. Oh, I have a bonus action as well. And you just see her scream in this like severe pain as you see this light kind of ricochet through her, a different color light, a bright white, almost a, a, a golden light that's hitting against this cold blue light. And, and I'm going to attempt to compel duel. All right. Compel duel. Is that um, a save on her part then? Yes. And what does she need to make? A wisdom. Wisdom saves. Um, <laughs> that is a six. What? She's not good. <laughs> She's not good at rolling. That wow. was, I just oh, I rolled run. two very low. Mm -hmm. Man, my DC is so low. I'm so pleased. Yeah, <laughs> so she is compelled to fight. And she has disadvantage on attack rolls. Yes. On, against you? or Against anyone. Nice. Except for you? Or is it uh, She you? also, she has, um, she has I think compelled to me. She's, she's like drawn to me. Um, <laughs> I'm fairly certain. For the duration, else. disadvantage on attack rolls against creatures other than you. Yep, so she will not have disadvantage if she tries to hurt That's you. That's fine. Yep. All right, moving along, it's her turn. So, oh, no. you having hit her in the middle of this form, she's going to fly out. She's going to take another nine points of the damage because she started the top of her turn in this. So, once again. But she flies out, and she's going to fly next to you. Here? Yep, right on that side. No, she's gonna fly. She's gonna fly. Hold on, because if she moves, because you're within range of her. She has to make another throw. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's just gonna fly in between the two of you and fly to the other side of you, and she's allowed to do that in her form. All right, cool. So she's right in between there, still engaged with you, so she, you don't have an opportunity to attack on her. And then she's going to touch you. Um, 
Mm. All right. What's your AC? The boy's going to die. So 17. 17? Yes. All right. That'll hit. Okay. Uh, mm. Four. Make sure you make a wisdom saving throw. <laughs> All right. That's going to be nine points of necrotic damage as you Wait, can feel. You have to make a wisdom saving throw. Why? Top of her turn? Yeah. Oh, okay. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Oh, for curse. Mm -hmm. uh, that yeah. is a 17. Does that hit against your spell save? Is it armor class? Oh, yeah, yes. I'm sure it does. Right, so she's able to still do her turn, but thank you for reminding me to do that. You said it was nice. Um, yes, as she um, pushes um, this energy into you, as you can feel like your back starting to fill with this kind of, almost as if you're, you, the, your back is getting eaten away at, and it's hard oh. to tell exactly what it is. Uh, um, uh, oh, yeah. I need you to make a charisma saving throw, please. Perfect! Oh yes, bring it on. Do a charisma saving throw for a paladin. Oh, I'm probably gonna roll low now that I said that. Nope, don't say that. Oh! Ah! Wait, 21. Okay, as she had passed through, through you and like eaten away towards your back, you can feel that she's trying to push her body into yours. Whoa, oh, no, not again! Mm. And then she gets thrown out from the pure force. No, of you don't. <laughs> I oh, hate no, possession. You uh -oh. Put your gnarly hand down. You don't get to touch me. Right. The helm doesn't I'm just like getting it. flashbacks to when we were in Chult <laughs> and I yeah. oh. possessed Lilith. Yeah. I'm going to take out my longsword for my stay, bonus stay close to action. Me. Stay close to All right, so you're going to have that prepped and ready for the next us. round. We can we'll do get, something get like that. But your bonus action, unfortunately, me. has been passed upon this round. It's okay. If Next you do round a spell, we know you don't get Next. to. If you fight, yes. you get to fight twice. But if you do a spell, you only get to do. Oh shit! But that's good news. Good. <laughs> that's good news. <laughs> Yay! Hi, everybody. Okay, ah! Trinishka. Yes, <laughs> darling, I'm here. What do you want? Oh me. Okay, so I'm first. I'm so far away. And I'm the wings, even though I'm a dragon. And Game of Thrones, they have wings, but that's fine. Um, <laughs> So oh, I'm raging. I rage. Oh, you okay, you go. You, you take your rage. Right. Yes, I take you my rage. Do? Yeah. And I, we have to do something long. I can't do my breath. I do javelin, maybe. All right. You so you're gonna throw thing. a javelin. Yes. Can you can you angle that ballista back there? My yeah, this can thing. You? Can mm -hmm. does that move? Can she swivel? It can swivel. Yeah. That that's the swiveling one. But um, I don't believe from the last, the last battle that you guys put in a bolt. This one, one of them had bolts. That one has a bolt, yeah. The one on the right hand but side that's had a bolt still. Too far away. Yeah. Right? I mean, there's bolts next to it. It's just nobody prepped it from the last battle and from the night an before. And that's a complete action to. You know what? Actually, I think that somebody. I think you might have done that. I think knowing that, knowing oh, you. Oh, remember I was standing last there. Last night you were standing yeah, on. But that's this one. And isn't you were it? watching the bolt all last night. So I'm going to say that you did I prep did the. It. I'm going to say you did prep the castle. <laughs> so I'm you can so run over to that. This Go ahead. One. Yeah. Okay. Hey! I'm like, oh, shnikes. All right, so you turn around the the crossbow. <laughs> and I'm really <laughs> raised up. All right, and then I, um, so... So I, that'll be a roll to hit, so okay. add plus six and roll a d20. Yeah. Okay. No, plus six. That's so 7 plus six. Seven plus six. And, and then you said what? 13. 13. 13, that'll hit. Hey! Um, surprisingly, it's a pretty big form, and she's kind of enlarged herself in certain ways. She's an easy target. Yes. Um, so this can be 2d8 plus your strength. So <laughs> plus which one's plus? Oh, yeah, and your raging, plus two. So uh, 2d8 damage plus five. 2d8, hey. does anyone want to give me their eight? 2d8. Uh, oh, gosh. Uh, six, six plus 5, 11. And then that's including my two for rage. All right, yes, so the, uh, what's the total one more time? 11 or 12? 11. 11? But is that including, you said the plus yes, 5? Yes, plus 5 is, it would including be adding to rage. that damage. So it's, so you rolled, what did you roll? 6. 6 plus 5, yeah, so that would be 11. All right, so as you release the bolt, and it flies through the air, you see it pierce the shattering form uh, that seems to be screaming out in pain from the light, trying to push into your friend. The bolt slams in between the two of you on just on the edge of the ship here. <laughs> And you guys, right now, if you even took like a step closer, you're gonna fall off the edge. Like you're you're standing on planks of wood that are crumbling beneath your feet. Like this terrain, half that boat right now is non-existent. You're standing on the the fabric, the belly of this this. Um, you, you can look underneath. There's waves beneath you. There are rocks. You guys walked forward on a very tumultuous looking oh, situation. I don't want to go in the water yeah. Again. Yeah, like that. Half the boat's gone. I have right, good so. aim. <laughs> um, do you get to shoot again? I do. Do I? I believe so. You're, yeah. uh, that was only one. Yeah. But you actually have to use your next full to prep the bolt. Fuck. 
because you cho chose okay, a Okay, well, I should because the javelin is not as accurate. Correct? Yeah. yeah. All right. <laughs> so I use my next action to prep. All right, so you use that, and you get that bolt up, and you recharge that thing, and yes. you turn it around. It takes a while to strap it in and get it well, correctly placed. Someone else go while I do this. <laughs> <laughs> But even her bolt, like, shattering through the form and then hitting the ground, it's creating issues with the plank work in your feet. Aye, aye, aye. Okay? So you guys know what's going on. Well, in normal, okay. real life, I would move out of the way, but since this is D&D, &D, I have to wait until I have my turn. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Lala. Um, well, I had rolled to unlock... Really? The chest. Yeah, what did you roll? A 22. <laughs> All right. So as you're doing this, you can see that the lock, like you're able to just open it enough and there's a lot of things so you have to brush off stuff. It's not a hard lock, it's just an old, old chest. Yeah. And you break it open and you tilt it up and over and you see just a horde of plunderings. Um, it's old, ancient looking coins and you catch some other things within it, but there's just tons of different, you don't have time right now to go through it all. Yeah. But you just opened up a chest and it's like shiny, Shiny, it's like the Goonies, you know? It's like, ah. Oh, what you <laughs> find, Lala? Ah! There's so much gold in here! You want what you get up here? Okay! What makes you say that? But we have to come back for this. You also catch, catch, you also catch that as you opened it, there seems to be like something withered, like directly somewhere in the corner. Like it looks like a withered book somewhere within it. Like Grab old weather book. So you catch all of this as you're just okay. opening. She's too small. And then I hear, I hear the them uh, shouting, so I'm gonna fly up and use my. Where the book is? Um, I like don't have time. Where's the book? All right. So you fly down from the sunken part and you fly up. Yeah. Um, yeah you were, you were, the bottom of the boat had hit against rock, which was Thank 25 you. feet down. So you use 25 feet of movement Strong to go up. Okay. That's all. Right. Right. And then I fly at 35 feet. 35. Cool. And then you have 10 more feet. What would you like to do? Um. Do was that my action to unlock it? Because it was from, I rolled before. Is the like issue, nine, yeah, I'm going like to say that was not your action. I'm going to say just on the top of your turn, you were able to lift okay, it off. Because technically speaking, the action you did ignited the okay, in, cool. initiative. So then I'm going to go ahead and cast Hunter's Mark on her. Are you guys seriously dumping then, a bunch of camp yes. coins onto the bed That's right what, it's like yes. a treasure. It's, it's my treasure. It's what it looks <laughs> like. So remind hey, us that it's there. Because if we left without this, I think we might all die. Yes, As someone sorry. with a criminal background, this is very exciting for me. More character background. Very exciting for me. <laughs> My character, I am oh. have a clean record. <laughs> <laughs> so you fly up the 25 feet, and what would you like to do? Okay, so cast more? Hunter's Mark right. on her, okay. and then I'm going to shoot her with my longbow. All right, roll the hit. Yes. Uh, no, I'm mad at that dice. <laughs> uh, well, uh, 15. 15 does hit. Um, and it's so. Uh, sorry, I'm all amped up from all the gold. <laughs> okay, so to, to give me this, I need this. No, I don't need that one. I'll use this. She's going to take eight, five, 13 points of damage. All right, solid. Are you within 10 feet of me? As you see the form shake and shimmer from the, uh, the power of that bow and that uh, yeah. arrow Wait. going through her. Did I fly, am I right next to Moira? I just um, flew You up. flew up, so you would actually be directly, that's about that high up, on right? Uh, two, one, more, one more over, two more squares over right there. Because it was this right, it was like it was the, it was kind of sunken in, so it would have been right around there, right around there. I'll say, it would have been a little bit. Can further I use the rest the... of my movement to move towards Moria? Well, the problem is, is that you had used twenty five feet to go up. up, and then you would have to go five more feet up to like truly get up, unless you wanted to be floor level. That's that's five, and then I can get five feet closer to Moria. Yeah, yeah, right you could there. get five more feet, so you could get right there. Yeah, yeah, right there. Right where I already am? Nope, where she was there. Because it was like kind of like sunken within, like it was kind of in the corner. Of the That's boat. fine. Okay, cool. Is that close? Are you within 10 enough? feet? I do. Yeah, she is. Okay. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah? Mm -hmm. mm. Nope, she would have moved one more if she were five feet. But she can't. I she's can't. in 10 feet. She's within 10 feet. So she's uh, not. No, from where? From, from Moira. From Moira. Where is here? No, one, technically. Two. Technically speaking, diagonals don't count in D&D, uh, so oh, you would rude. have to move one more further up. Diagonals don't count right. in D&D. All right. All right. No such Anything thing. Anything with the bonus? Or do you have another hit? I, no, I already... Oh, oh, I do have another hit! <laughs> Ranger. <laughs> I'm still very amped up. Um, 16 to hit. That does hit. Roll for damage. I'm going to take another... Uh, <laughs> 17 points of damage. All right, Ooh. solid. <laughs> you see that uh, the second time it's that you hit it with yeah, this one, you can see that the form shatters and shimmers even more. You can tell that 
the, the this creature, even though things are going through it, it, it's almost like pushing something through pudding that is like translucent. Like it cuts through the skin, but it's still able to kind of withstand any sort of actual damage since it's a strange kind of corporeal form, you know? All right, so moving along, Rowan. Okay, so where is everybody in relation to her? Where is she now? She's right, she's right there. right there. And so everyone's, is she in her own square? Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm gonna call lightning. <laughs> okay. Call lightning. And it's stormy. It is stormy. It You're is able to stormy. summon all of that beautiful sky juice. Sky juice. <laughs> sky juice. <laughs> sky juice. <laughs> sky juice. Uh, brought to you by Call Lightning. Girls Guts Glitter. It's gonna be our new energy drink. Sky juice. Um, <laughs> all right, and you use call lightning and you uh, evoke it lightning. down behind her, okay? I do. And she needs to make a, a dex idea. save. <laughs> it's going to be, it says uh, call lightning does a storm cloud in a cylinder that's 10 feet tall with a 60 foot radius centered on a point you can see with 100 feet directly above you. Mm -hmm. um, you see, I just want to make sure I get it right. The spell fails if you didn't see the point there where the storm cloud could appear, but when you cast a spell, you choose a point you see within range of point and lightning will flash down on that point. Each creature within five feet of that point must make a dexterity saving throw. So if I pick that point, like, like behind so her. Five feet of that point, so you could do it like right behind so, her. Yeah. Yeah, you could do that. Yeah. Yeah. All oh, right. This boat's gonna. Yeah. All right. yeah. Is it gonna disintegrate? You guys are gonna find out. Okay. okay. Uh, do it. And then if they go in the water, we have to save them because then Don't all the. I'm like an anvil. I'm very. I'm it's like okay. Full of armor. You gotta call lightning. Shut don't us. don't no, no meta game. All right. You call lightning. Yes. All right. Um, Let's see if she makes the deck save. Borrow a d10. Yes. Yeah. Stand here and what's heavily. what's the save she needs to uh, uh, dex? And what is your uh, spell save DC? I mean, I'm getting ready to jump. Yeah. <laughs> I'm getting ready it? to, to, to go? sink to the oh, bottom 14. of the water. 14. <laughs> okay, she does make that, but she will take half damage. Okay. So go ahead. Oh, and actually, it's 4d10 because it's stormy. Oh, one? Which one is it? Oh, is it? Oh my god. Oh, look at that. Oh, oh my god. Wait, where's the other d10? Do you need 2d10? What do you need? Oh, here. Ah, thank you. I don't know okay, how to find so them. Okay, so this is my dice. I, 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 I don't know how to tell which dice. 17. Which dice. Uh, 19. 23. 23. <laughs> 23. <laughs> cut in half. Mm -hmm. Even with, cut, even really, with cut in half, that's all you needed to shatter this lightning through her form. However, you're also doing 23 points of damage to the whole boat in the section there. So as you Wait, call you down this lightning, you guys <laughs> see that the form just screams and bursts into energy, dissipating against the mist. But then as this is happening, you guys feel yourself falling as all of the rotted wood has been falling. Like it was already on the brink of, of having issues here, but you guys can attempt a dexterity saving throw. I'm very good. Can dex. I jump to a rock? To attempt a dexterity to saving throw. Can I do anything that uses a dexterity saving throw? Nat 20. 19. Okay. I hope someone can come on, Moira. Come grab me from the water because it's an eight. Nine. 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 Moira. Ooh, yeah. uh, and you just the plank beneath you just sends you down. You see the beneath you as you're falling rocks right beneath <gasps> you. I need you to make a secondary deck save. You, Lilith, 19. and Lala, you can fly, correct? Yeah, okay. I can fly. So you feel the planks of wood nearby, and you're just able to remove yourself from getting hit by the things that are t falling. Uh, Lilith, you hold on to one of the bones of the inside of this um, of the, this uh, boat that's barely hanging on, but you can tell that even as you're holding it, you can see it withering away. Wait, are they but wait, but I really need my treasure. <laughs> There's rocks in the water. I need to get it. Do you need your treasure? Do we need well, to save wait, we have to, We'll have to, unfortunately. I can't do anything about more. <laughs> we'll hold, we'll hold this for right now, but as this is happening, what do you guys want to do? I want to get my treasure. All right, you're going to fly down towards the treasure. Moira, can I have you make a deck save? What did you make? And I was too far to cast. Seven. Seven? All right, that is not, you're going to take full damage as you hit your body slams Wait, against rocks. Oh, not water, but rocks. Uh, 15 points of bludgeoning damage. Okay, that's fine. As you just, your whole body just okay. smacks against Sorry, it. Sorry, guys! 15? She had to mm -hmm. die! We, we understand! <laughs> Okay. Is, wait, is there, there's rocks under there? She not had water? fallen onto rocks. However, she like slammed against rocks. I'm gonna have, unfortunately, as this is all happening, Allie make a strength check, and Moira make a deck save to attempt to hold onto the rocks and not get pulled into the water. Can I start Six. shaking everything and shoving yep. it into my bag? Yep, you're, you're, you're using your turn to do this. You guys, what are you doing as you see that the I'm ghost screaming. I'm screaming, I know you're getting treasure, you're giving us some of it. It's <laughs> one thing I do. Okay, and uh, very nervously. How far away are they from me? How far are they How right now? How many feet? Yeah. Uh, they had fallen down. That is 
10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60 feet. So we, yeah, what would you, can you do the walkie? So walkie -walk? I'd, have to, I'd have to cast a, okay, I gotta cast water walk on us. On okay. the boat, okay, and we can go get that. Or we can move and I'll the have ship to do it. I'll have to do it again. It seems like they anchored it, as you guys oh. called out. So I'll it's going to take some time. I'll, I'll have to, to do it again. So okay. I cast water walk on us. Okay, uh, and then I just start sprinting. Me too. Oh, are you guys doing the running jump again into the? No, no, no running jump. No, yes. no, no. Okay, what do I do? I Tie use... yourselves off. Wait, this That's thing. Oh, this I thing is. Uh, oh wait, do we have? I have rope. I have rope. Yes. So, so you guys can use, you will use your action to cast this I on everybody. I can hold her. Okay, you use the water walk, however, so everyone can walk on the water. You okay. hold her, I you, hold both you and them. Rowan use I'm your action to tie a rope. No. Okay. <laughs> Who not would like to attempt to tie the rope? One of you, one of the two of you. What is it to? It's a dex check. I mean, Slight of hand. I'll try. Okay. Um, you're casting a spell. It oh, I cast a spell. So it's one of us? Yeah. Oh, what's your dex? Essentially, uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna like hit you good. guys and then hit you guys because there's technically no initiative. Yes, yeah, so you, you do it. Not okay, I'll do I'm it. just shoveling things yeah. in my bag. Yeah. I'll, I'll get tie the rope. rope. Uh, yeah, yeah, I felt the bugs. Right. You hear Moira's you hear voice in your head. Get the bolt. Sixteen. <laughs> Moira yes. would kill me if I didn't. Okay, so you <laughs> <laughs> grab me something nice. Uh, you guys, as you tie the rope and you're able to get a knot solidly, you're able to kind of grab Fawn underneath your arm. I can grab. And if you wish, also Rowan, and you guys we jump me down. off and yeah. use the rope to slide, slide down. Can I just have you make a dex check really quick to see how yes. softly you land? This is scary. Oh, my bad. Unnatural twenty. Oh, okay, Dark great. 20. So you're just you're just charged here, and you're able to hold both of them as you use your legs to slide down like a firewoman. <laughs> it burns a bit on the inside of the thighs, but then you let go and you drop. But and I you like start. that feeling. <laughs> you used to little bit. Go on. And you begin to run on the water yes. uh, with them. So just right there, you begin to run. So as this is happening, as you're running and you're running, I can feel the thing breaking, but I want to try to swing my leg over. Okay. That would be a strength. That would be the strength check. Oh. But I thought I already made it. Um, it wouldn't that be an acrobatic a dexterity check. saving throw. Check. This is going to be a strength check to attempt to move your leg up and over. I, sure, it can be acrobatic, yeah. <laughs> 18. Jeez. 18. Um, so you're able to, <laughs> sky juice. Um, you're able to, though it's breaking, you can get your leg around one, it goes through one of the boards and then you whip it around once more and you're able to saddle up on top of it. Now you're like on top of one of the bones of the, uh, the billowed out boat. Like this? Yeah, right around there. It's actually Stay where you were. Yeah, it's right around there. <laughs> yeah, it's right there. You Stop just swing your leg up and me. you're sitting up, but you can tell that this is not stable and safe. Moira, um, what did you make on your save? It was an 11. Okay. As you had hit against the rocks and you're trying to claw the slippery rocks, your hands go, you're just brushing through all of this kind of uh, grown in uh, sea life that had clung itself to the rocks and you just slide into the water. <gasps> that sanguine is down Wait. here. I'm actually going to set this table on fire. Can I go? <laughs> Wait, I think I have an idea. One second. As okay. this is happening, yep. Lala. Oh, I'm shoveling You're just I'm using I'm your full turn. Everything, everything yeah. I can, especially that book. Because yeah. I hear more in my head, I'm like, she's gonna kill me if I don't get that yeah. book. And so you're, you're just the shoveling book. everything so you're into just, my bag. Like coins are hitting your face. You're just, you're just excited. They're right? hitting <laughs> just your face. <laughs> All right. So move it back. And what were you going to ask me, Allie? Are there any plants yeah. down where she is? Yeah. In the bottom of like seaweed. yeah, there's like seaweed and sea Yeah. I would like to cast speak with plants. Okay. So you use your full action for your strength check to pull yourself oh. up, but hold that one. Okay. Are right. they within 30 feet of us yet? As you guys are running forward, no, because she they had has fallen. 40 feet. I have 40 feet, my speed. 40 feet, but you had to use um, you had to use 20 feet, 25 feet to drop down. Okay. From where you were, and then this turn you can begin to run. Um, and don't forget, this this whole section of this boat is here right now, and they've fallen down. So, I guess technically you can't see them. But yeah, right. they're within 30 feet. I can't see I'm them. Like you cannot here. see them. Have you dropped moonbeam? Oh yeah, it's a concentration spell. So, yeah, I probably yeah. dropped it. Wait. So you, had to, you would have had to drop it anyway. Or that makes do a me contest on the dropping. Yeah. Like 15 points. So they are within 30 feet? You wouldn't want to hurt yourself. She's this dead, right? I do want to hurt yeah. myself. She doesn't even exist. Oh, that's only three don't. many. I know, she doesn't know. <laughs> She's a good one. She'll be back. <laughs> so can I cast yeah. water walk? <laughs> uh, no. What did you want to cast? Water walk on them. Do you have to see the creatures to cast water walk? I need two. I think I need... 
voice. Is it VSM? What, what's VSM? It's, it's just, uh, no, 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 V, uh, V is, uh, it's not visual. visual, it's just a vocal, but it depends, the spell usually says, like, within it, like, a creature you can see, or a creature you can touch. The spell draws a uh, there's usually, here, let's look it, let's look it up really quick. I know With, oh, you can see within yeah. range. Okay, so it does say that. So, you yes, can, you cannot see them right now, so. I can't see any of them? No, they've fallen into a boat. Oh, dang it. We gotta, gotta find them. Also, she flies, so she doesn't need it. You just saw them and fall in. Neutral. For now. I'm collecting treasure. This is the <laughs> highlight of my life. So, okay, so we get on the boat. Then. I'm drowning. You guys are gonna have to climb up on the on the edge of the boat. I know. And then to climb <laughs> literally up. nothing. You guys can try to walk I around the boat. Well, well, like, wait, but isn't it, this is down by the, inside the water now? Yeah, they had fallen in 25 feet. That's stupid to go around, I guess. So, yes. And the the this ship is just about as high as yours, which is 25 feet up. If we're by rocks, are we by an island? No. Land? It's just shallow no. for no reason. It's just shallow. Like a okay. little sandbar. Um, yeah. Is it my turn? Yeah, it's your turn. The three of yours. So well, I'd you like... used your action to move. So right. let's start with let's start with you. Okay. Really quick, Rowan. Yeah. Um. Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on. Maybe don't start with me. Just a sec. Okay. So you can't do water, you know. So uh, so we are on on the boat yet, or we have to now I have to use my action to get us up. You would probably have to use a string trick to attempt to get you up, but you also use some rope. So if somebody else has rope, you can attempt to tie it on one of the, like the top of the rope and try to like find leverage and climb up, or you I, can just try to climb up. I always have rope. It's easier to do rope, right? Yeah. So right. Get, yeah, I take a rope. So you take a rope and you're gonna throw it over something. Can I have you make a dex check? Yeah. To see if you can. Yeah. Uh, six. Six? <laughs> the rope like hits the top of the, the boat and no. unfortunately. Can you make us go up? As the action. <laughs> Guys. Mm -hmm. All right. Do you wish to do anything, Fauna? Uh, doesn't she have, uh, doesn't she have, she's raging. Right? Oh, I'm raging. So doesn't she have? On checks? On checks. Oh. She has uh, oh. advantage. So then. Oh. You have advantage. Yeah, yeah. So you don't have to worry yeah. about the damage, but if you have an think, advantage right I here on strength checks. Yes. Yes. Well, there was a, it was a it dex check. check. Yeah, it was a dex, strength. not strength. Because oh. it was just trying to get a rope over something. Unfortunately. I'll, I'll try it. All right, so, all right, so do a, a dex check. Yeah, yeah, uh, 19. Okay, so after Junishka had thrown the rope and it had just hit the side of the boat and fell, you kind of like, as the waves are crashing underneath your feet, you grab the other one and you throw it out there. You throw it, out there. <laughs> it doesn't actually hurt. These aren't a part of me. Um, oh, uh, <laughs> and you what? throw it out and you find a section to kind of billow it back down and you quickly like, Good job. like are able to kind of tie it I uh, as best as you can. You think at least it'll help you guys get <laughs> over the top. All right, so the next turn, you guys can all climb it, okay. if you wish. And Rowan, did you want to do anything? Not yet. Okay. Left-hand side, what do you guys want to do? I'd like to climb up. Have, have I collected everything oh, I okay. can? I guess, I guess one can second, I? you guys. So yeah, okay. so the rope did yeah. go up, so you start climbing. I, I climb up, do I Make get a strength to talk? Talk. Yeah. Or a dex, it can be dex or strength. Oh, um... Click like action. 17. Athletics or strength, what? 17. Yeah, you start to climb up, fine. You're getting there, you're getting there. Your speed, since technically Dranishka had carried you and grappled you, was reduced to zero, so you have your full speed to move right now. So what's your speed? 25. So you can get all the way to the top of the boat. Okay. You get all the way to the top and you stand with your little gnome. And I see Rowan and I call out, it's very unstable up here. <laughs> Be I careful. see that. Yeah. Is that my full action? Yes. Okay. Yeah. So now over here, sorry, what were you I'm saying? Oh, I was just asking, have I gotten everything I can fit into my bag? It's been two rounds, so that's six seconds per round. So you've spent about 18 seconds filling the bag. There's maybe like a little bit more. Are you gonna just plunder it fully? Or? Yeah. Okay, so this is the last round. <laughs> this is the, uh, I'm, I'm, sh back I'm shrinking, I'm, I'm shoveling, I'm, you know. Okay, so this is the last round of you like shoveling all of this gold into your bag. Yeah. So that's just what you do for your full turn. Yeah. Just keep filling it. All right. This isn't for <laughs> We're not leaving any behind for prosperity. Just the people, not the money. Just the people. All right. Uh, <laughs> not kidding. the people. I don't know. Is there anything down here? Um, Can I just try and swim back Oh, wait. Up, yeah, or? you had fallen in. Sorry. Yeah, um, I'm in the So water. you are attempting Again. to swim upward. Your heavy armor is already yeah. kind of weighing you down. Just make a, uh, make a athletics check. I can do athletics. I'm actually yeah. pretty good at it. Wait, is that the one I'm good at? <laughs> yes, it is. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, it's the only one I'm good at. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh. 23. Okay, so though your armor is heavy and you can feel yourself fighting against the current of this, you actually have enough strength, though you feel waterlogged, that you're able to move one leg on top of that rock and swim your body like close to it and then pull your arm up on top of one of the rocks. It's slippery, but you're cl you climb on top of it and you're actually like 
breathing a la Jack and Rose in Titanic <laughs> on top of one of the rocks. Never let go, Moira. Never let go. Not going to let go. Hey, mommy. All right, solid. Every so, Lilith? I have a question. Yes. Um, so where sh where Moira is, is she, uh, like, is the boat still built up on the sides or is it literally like chopped in half and there's no second half? So she could technically like get, like crawl over. She, there's like a lot of broken rubble. A lot of it's floating and some of it's like kind of adhered to rocks. It's essentially anything where that paper is has been kind of caved in and broken in. Everything over here has fallen inward, but it's like floating or bobbing. So there's a, like a, essentially half of this ship is now halved again. So it's like cut in half this way now. So there's like oh, a quarter so of like a ship. So like what part of it is, un so so it's, yeah, it's that whole section to the left right there. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah. all caved in. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> okay. Could I move and it's actually cast even a spell? That way. Yeah, it's right there. What? Could I move and cast a spell? Yeah. Okay. I'd like to move to this side of the boat. I'm gonna have you make a dex check though, because you're kind of walking on top of right. a plank that you had pulled yourself onto. Oh, eight. Eight. Okay, so you kind of like almost fall for a moment and you have to catch yourself. Just make a dex check. Uh, dex saving throw, excuse me. The, the same thing? Yeah. It's a saving throw in this square. 15. Yeah. All right, 15. So oh, saving, wait, which one? <coughs> this. Okay, 15. All right, so your foot goes through one of the planks. As you realize, you have to tear it out and some of the wood catches you. You take uh, three points of piercing damage, oh, yeah. but you're able to continue to hobble so over and you sure. walk over to the edge where Rowan is a little bit more securely. Okay. All right. So now I'm going to cast Speak with Plants. Okay, you just said? Um, to the seaweed. Okay, right. You cast Speak with Plants. I cast Speak with Plants. Hello! Um, anybody <laughs> home? <laughs> <laughs> and you hear, you hear that, but... Uh, Good afternoon. <laughs> How are you doing today? Well, you sound very happy. I was wondering if you could help me possibly. My friend Moira here, or there, closer to you, um, she needs a little bit of help getting out of that area closer to us. I was wondering if you could rally all your little fronds and lift her to where we are, possibly. It, it seems like, uh, make a persuasion check to these plants. Or they could make a bridge and intertwine themselves with the thing. And bridge. 18. And bridge. 18. So you hear, it's been so long since someone's talked to me. Oh. Of course. Oh, it's <laughs> poor little As seaweed. you see the poor seaweed little. around you, a little confused, hearing just like gurgling near you somewhere. Yeah. Um, you see all of a sudden all of the plant life begin to grow. You do catch that Lilith was chanting something. Okay. As you see them kind of wrap themselves like beneath you and slowly like, kind of intertwine themselves. It's and okay, Moira, they're going to build a, a plant bridge for you to walk on. Okay. And they kind of create, <laughs> they kind of create like a little hand, like a seaweed hand that begins to Aww. lift and kind of claw oh. itself and intertwine itself within the actual boat. And it looks a little bit like a nest as it's bringing you upward, like okay. a web. I love that. Oh God. And you slowly get billowed all the way up. <laughs> it stops about 10 feet or so. And then you're just- I grab her. You're hand. able to slip oh. a slimy seaweed, oh. grab her hand. Thank you. <laughs> My God, thank you. <laughs> thank you so much. And Hi, seaweed. Is there anything that we can do? The to seaweed thank you? kind of grows its one of its, and then it just puts its seaweed in your hand and like <laughs> shakes the seaweed. <laughs> and you guys see this as you climb over the edge right at that moment, seeing Lilith shake a piece of seaweed. It never gets less weird. Can I, can I just cast Water Walk and like, just get the hell out of this boat? You cast can Water Walk on everybody as you guys are experiencing this moment, and then we'll take a five minute, five to ten minute break right there. Yeah. Cool. Sweet. Yeah. Oh my gosh, everyone, thanks so much for tuning in. I hate water. We've had 1,200 viewers today. Wow. wow. Yeah, that's that's awesome. Point. Yeah, that was Hi, guys. Hi. Thanks, thanks for tuning guys. in. Um, woo. Maybe so, if you have questions for us, fire. some of you are obviously new, so shoot them in the chat. Some of us will take bathroom breaks raffle. or drink breaks. And, oh, yeah, raffle, um, too, and, yeah. Okay, and we're going to close out the raffle. Has it been closed out? Okay, we're going to close out the Idol Champions raffle um, in five, four, three, two, two one. Ish, one. Around here. <laughs> <laughs> raffle time. Okay, Eric, I think, does it announce it in the chat? Yes, I 
Well, what does it say? In the oh. in the chat, the winner of the long log out crow, log out crow, log out crow. Idle yeah. champions chest code. Yes. Um, yeah. Gotcha. So shoot us your questions, uh, oh. Kelly. If any um, questions. Yeah, ask my some questions. I'm on chat, you guys. Find info on the pixie race. So that's a homebrew that yeah. Erica yeah. made. She um, found it on I think Wiki D and D. Yeah. Wiki D and D. Wiki race. But you can also. I mean, all our character <laughs> sheets <laughs> are on Erica our website, girlsgutsgloryrpd.com. Oh, mm -hmm. So it's not like in the book. Uh oh. But there are tons of We're fun races out. you can create. That's not in the book. Question for Kelly: How did yeah. it feel to be seaweed? <laughs> How did it feel to be seaweed, you guys? I. It's been a deep-seated desire of mine. <laughs> I consume sushi on the reg, and so I feel like I empathically <laughs> emote with seaweed. So being able to, you know, channel in its beauty. Thank you. On that note, I'm going to go use the ladies' <laughs> uh, we have um, another... Someone wants to know. Oh, sorry. Go ahead. Oh, it was the. Uh, how often do we play? We well. Uh, Kelly plays all the time. I played. Um, this is the fourth game. Uh, the fifth game I've ran in in seven days. The fifth game I ran in seven days. Uh, like, <laughs> wow. Like three to four hour games each. No, Todd. Like a part time. Stop job. it, Todd. What did Todd say? Uh, as Moira catches her breath and wrings out her soaked cloak, a voice magically appears from nowhere, and a very drunken Todd voice says, Sup, babe, you know wet armor contest? <laughs> Shut up, Todd. Ship them forever. No. Ship Moira and Todd forever. No. Oh. oh, so good. Someone oh, else was Also, asked. they need to, if I can like call dibs on any moment, Somebody needs to do a, a render of Rowan's drawing of it's so the bad. Booth. It's so bad. Somebody needs to oh, attempt so it. It's so bad. It has to be kind of bad. So if you're not going to oh, draw, it's fine. Kelly and Rachel, I really love the Tales from the Loop game. Thanks. We loved it too. It was a lot of fun. Um, Todd <laughs> is <laughs> Toyra. No, it's a hashtag. Uh, Todd, our friend Sarah came down from the Bay Area to play with us one day when one of our girls were gone, and she played a tiefling named Todd. He was a total frat dude, and yeah. she, she rocked it. She was amazing. She's amazing. She's I amazing love her. And she what were you fantastic. asking, too, before I cut well, you off? Someone else was saying they're new to the stream. Welcome to our stream. Todd um, does You'd like us to introduce it. ourselves. I'll wait till everyone's back here, yeah. and then yeah. we'll be happy to reintroduce ourselves. We also, do this every Sunday. Every, every Sunday, Sunday, 3 p.m. Yeah. Pacific Standard Yes. Someone had a question for Fauna. Oh, yeah. Hey, um, what's up? Yeah. What cleric <laughs> domain does Fauna belong to? She's on the life domain. So for those of you who watched the stream of Annihilation during the Tomb of the Curator, um, Fauna's twin brother, Farin, <laughs> Farin, Reed, Undergo, he was killed by a beholder. And hey, Fauna's real torn up about it. So she's on a path to eventually, hopefully, bring her brother back. Yeah. Oh. She's a sweet. She's a sweet, sweet girl. I love Fauna. She's sweet. She's, so she's, she's just, I feel so horrible that, like, also great Fauna. that, like, I, I happened to throw in, like, just enough description where I was like, yeah, he looks like Kit Harrington. And then, oh, I ran with that. I was like, Kit <laughs> Harrington? No, oh, we're, ru we're running. Fauna is all about it. Yes, Steppenwolf41. It does feel good to call lightning during a storm. <laughs> I love them, them 10d4. And or actually, so we pulled two winners. We pulled two winners. Yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, by accident, but we have enough codes, so we'll do two winners that break oh, and another great. at the end. Who's the other winner? I already um, wrote it down. So, she oh, you did? Great. I was trying to give her she a little, eyes. little nice. note thing okay. there. I'm going to leave again yes. now that the bathroom is drinking. Five. Have you made this scenario by your hands, or is it made by okay. someone outside your squad? Um, so this is a, an interesting kind of hybrid, hybrid thing. I run a lot of games, and... Um, I feel like I've, uh, this, this is essentially like in Forgotten Realms. So a lot of this stuff is pre-existing like material that kind of like I'm drawing from. I like to like kind of create a lot of things along the way, but I love using Forgotten Realms locations. And uh, besides obviously their, their monsters, I like using um, some of the descriptions of the cities and the towns. So like Sea of Fallen Stars is an actual pre-built within doing? Forgotten Realms. So Feyrun, as they might call it, Feyrun. Mm -hmm. Specifically, Theron. <laughs> yeah. Any good questions? They, they killed yeah, all the all boys? Yeah, they're all good questions. They're so good. Um, yes. So good. I wonder what you mean by they killed all the boys. Uh, Technically, only one of our boys is dead. Which one? Oh, oh, yeah. Um, no. Theron. 
We like boys. We love boys. <laughs> Have you met Dranishka? <laughs> yeah, yeah Dranishka loves boys. Yeah. Okay, yeah, Nelly. So oh, congrats, Nelly, on your new website. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for visiting. <laughs> Uh, I got lectured on yeah, that earlier this yes. week. Yes. Correct. Okay. Wait, wait, they said they drew two ones? Yeah, here's the other one. Mm -hmm. Okay. So someone wanted us to do reintroductions. While we're waiting for Kim to come back, why don't we start with you, Allie? Okay, I'm Allie Gonino. I play Lilith Lucena. I do Girls Guts Glory. I'm an actress. I'm also a musician. Um, Look you up Tell at what? Your, your Look me up at too. go underscore Nino on all the social media apps. Um, and gogonino.com is my new website. Love go it. check yeah. it out. It's so good. It's cute. <laughs> uh, I am Rachel Seeley. I'm playing our paladin uh, who apparently cannot Not go near water to save her life. <laughs> or oh, obviously won't save it's her life. It's all that armor. Uh, it's all the armor <laughs> because she's just a, a rust bucket. Um, <laughs> I'm <laughs> also an actress. Uh, I do a lot of this, just a lot of gaming cool. and regular people jobs. Yeah. Regular people jobs. Uh, I'm Erica. I play Lala Lemonbirds, your Pixie Ranger. I am a stylist, Pat, ooh, actress light, as I say. <laughs> actress oh light. Gosh, that's hilarious. Love it. <laughs> <laughs> and, um, oh, Allie, there's my boob. Oh, hi. <laughs> Where <laughs> can they find oh, you? Goodness. <laughs> Not uh, a paladin, an oath paladin, or oath protection. I am an oath of the ancients. Uh, there's also Kellen. Do you ever accidentally go into the Dranishka voice outside of the game? <laughs> <laughs> Only in uh, the privacy of my own bedroom. No, I don't. I don't. <laughs> Halloween. Halloween. We, uh, Allie and I went out uh, a few days before Halloween, and we went as our characters, and. We use the voices when uh, in need. Mm -hmm. In need. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. I rolled. She rolled at the bar. Uh, oh, nice. Insight. Yeah. Insight. Yeah. She rolled an insight on love. Yeah. If she would meet anyone that <laughs> evening. And I did. Wait, so Kelly, you, you did introduction. Yeah. I mean, I mean oh yeah. Hey, what's up? We. We need to hear the story yeah, off yeah, yeah. <laughs> And Kelly D'Angelo, I write um, a lot of different things. I'm a storyteller now, uh, professionally, I guess, which is pretty cool. Yeah. But I've been st telling stories most of my life. Uh, so I write musicals and I write kids animation. I got a show airing next year, Littlest Pet Shop on Hasbro on uh, Discovery Family, That's cool. which will be uh, a couple episodes of those, and then uh, some My Little Pony digital stuff coming out on the 17th, which is really soon. So keep your eyes glued for that. Uh, yeah, I do that things, and then I write musicals, which I'm really passionate about. Um, the cool thing is that one of the musicals I've been working on for the last two years. Uh, <clears throat> It's, uh, we got some really great people who have been able to workshop it with us, including these people who are called Star Kids. Some people don't know who they are, but they did a lot of really epic musicals back in the day, like a very Potter musical. It's how Darren Chris got his start. Oh, yeah, my cousin was so, in it, I think, at a Michigan. Didn't yeah, Michigan? it's Michigan kids. Yeah, and they're like the nicest it. people in the world. So it's exciting to Erica, someone capture the passion. Yeah. So. Your pixie wing rig on the chair is awesome, by the way. <laughs> Thank you. Isn't it? She's a genius. I, correctly. to be completely yeah. honest, forgot the shirt that I usually wear <laughs> underneath my bodice, and I didn't want to go just bodice. So we're going... <laughs> <laughs> we're going <laughs> wing rig. If the wings are usually attached to her. They're usually attached to my bodice. Mm -hmm. we, have a, we have a good question uh. from Akisha. I love you, Akisha. Um, will your ship be renamed the Heartbreaker on behalf of Fauna's Broken Heart by the time you all reach your destination? Aww. That's a great idea. Probably. <laughs> Instead of Dame Edna, um, which is like Dame a Edna. great knee-jerk reaction to name the book. Ooh, I just got the Twitch name Dranishka. Nice! Nice! Yeah. Yeah. Nice. I apparently at my old thing just it was gone or I don't know, defunct or maybe I did it wrong. I'm Kellen Coleman. Hi. Kellen. Um, and I'm on everything as at Kellen Coleman. Kellen is one out. Like Helen, okay. <laughs> um, I'm an actress, and uh, currently, <laughs> wait a second. I'm on a show called Me, Myself, and I, but um, we won't be Everyone airing. Everyone needs to sign the petition. Oh yeah, to there's yeah. a petition. Bring Me, Myself, and I back. Yeah. Yes. I don't. On CBS. It's I think it's on cha Change. I'll find out for you before the end of this. Um, but uh, yeah, if we can get the, the and they will be airing the other episodes. I think at a later date. Um, but you can watch me in a lot of other things. 
recently on Big Little Lies. I don't know. I just did animation for DreamWorks. Let's hope that happens. Ooh. And uh, Ooh. lots of stuff coming out of possible Big Big Little Lies season two. <gasps> waiting to find out. Please. Them. And uh, the end. Big Lies. Oh, and so good. I think I'm one, on Snapchat. I don't want to go on a very much remember, but I'm a different name. I'm Sadie Goldberg. <laughs> uh, which is my middle name and my mom's maiden name. That was great. Yeah. So, but usually can't call them. But yeah. Um, uh, Agentus eighty one. If you find me on Twitter, I will send you the link to my uh, the page that I use to create my uh, pixie. Pixie um, at a style pixie is my Twitter yeah. handle <laughs> and my Instagram handle and my fan page on Facebook. So, <laughs> if you want to find me, that's it's everywhere. That's it. Um, <laughs> Are we introducing? Okay. Yeah. Uh, I'm Kim Hidalgo. You can find me at Kim Hidalgo <laughs> everywhere. Uh, and I'm an actress and a writer. I write screenplays and everything. Oh, and I have a, a children's yes. book. Yes, published children's book author and illustrator. Yep, I, I illustrated and authored a children's book. It's called Fairies in Our Yard. You can find it on Amazon and other places. Good, <laughs> good Christmas are you, gift. Are you Great pets? Christmas gift. Mm -hmm. Did you, know? you write it under Kim Hidalgo or Kimberly Hidalgo? Oh, it's written under Kimberly Hidalgo, but fairies in our yard on Amazon. I'm putting it in chat. The petition's Perfect. on change.org. Uh, if um, we can get that link, and it has almost, it almost, almost 40,000 yeah. uh, signers already, uh, which is crazy. Save Kellen Show. Yeah. Save, Save Kellen, Kellen Show. show. Yay. Yay. Kellen um, show. Is everyone good on break? Everyone awesome. got to take Good to yeah, go. Feeling pretty good. Yes. Share this petition. Um, I can share it somehow. And lastly, I'm I'm Alice Gretchen. Oh, I, <laughs> in my head, like everyone went wild no, in the bathroom. No, it's okay. Um, I'm also an actress, and yes, someone said everybody's an actress. We are <laughs> actresses. We're in Los Angeles. We Why else would we live here? Ugh. This is oh, like yeah. acting. <laughs> We're doing acting right now. This is acting. Yeah, and this is like fun. It. And I also run an online vintage shop on Etsy called House of Simpkin. That's S I M P K I N, as in Simpkin from the Tailor of Gloucester by Beatrix Potter, if anyone knows. Yes. <laughs> um, it's like my favorite childhood story. So, yeah, if you're into vintage fashion, check it out. It's really good vintage fashion. Yeah, and too. if you go to our website, you can kind of see how we all met. But we were all, you know, friends, actresses, worked together, mm -hmm. did classes together. College That's together. Sisters, so Sisters. there's a whole bunch We're together. Yeah. Wait, We're not together. related. Surprise! <laughs> <laughs> um, so, so yeah, we, we. I go mean, back. we go back. We go back a ways, and then we all started playing D and D together, and here we are. And now we're here. Um, um, Crit Fiend in that twenty <laughs> says, um, "Glad you didn't drown, Moira. Todd would have been hella bummed." <laughs> <laughs> True. Um, oh, I yeah. love it. All of our, if you're just tuning in, all of our previous me, streams are on you. our website. <laughs> and we're, this is, I think, our fifth. So yeah. you can still yeah. catch up. Yeah, this is episode um, six. And we also in. have like two other seasons which are taped a little differently, all edited in short form. So um, check it out. And uh, what else? Oh, we're going to give away another Idol Champions code at the end of the stream. So Indeed. is it open? So we're gonna have Jen, awesome Jen from. Open. <laughs> it's open, so exclamation point raffle if you want to enter what? again, and we'll. The pull ocean is competing with Todd for Moira's love. <laughs> it's true. Yeah, it's gonna drown her <laughs> in its love. It's gonna be an angry dead mermaid. <laughs> Todd will wage war. All right, we'll that. That. Okay. angry dead mermaid Moira. How's everyone feeling? Yikes. Let's get back to it. I'm trying to set uh, up petition. Can I get out of the water? <laughs> I am out of the water. Yeah, so like essentially you guys are playing mode. You guys, are, playing mode. You guys yeah. are all, uh, oh yeah, airplane mode. Um, but you guys are all, there's nothing, uh, you guys all have the spell cast on you for water walking. So right now you guys are able to kind of at least have some safety in your mind knowing that you're okay. As you guys um, take time, just this is did I, did I slowly. Fully, did I successfully empty <coughs> that treasure chest? Yes, you chest? did. <laughs> yes, like it's, you wow. have gone through it all Where as you fly up. <laughs> <laughs> And you guys are all just hanging on the edge of this boat right now. So uh, let's go back. Is it my turn? Let's get back get to the other here. boat. I want to get out of here. Is it my turn? Yeah, it's everyone's. It's okay. kind of open ended. You guys, you let me know what you would like I'd to do. I'd like to cast water <laughs> breathing on everyone now that I can <gasps> see them. Now that I can see everyone at the same time, everyone has water breathing for the next That's 24 it. hours. Perfect. Wow. We have water Perfect. breathing. Let's go for a swim. Yeah, I'm going for a swim. Oh, wait, let's go for a swim. Let's, no, you guys all have water. I'm swimming. I'm probably drowning. 
drunk, I'm kidding. So as you do this, even if you try to put like the water in your mouth, like you were walking on the water, so like it's kind oh, of right. a weird experience. Let's all just get yeah. back to the boat. Back to the back boat. boat. Yes. This is yes. now the bottom of the boat. Right. Right. So yes, you guys oh, have left the, the old uh, abandoned ship and have now uh, walked onto the other. We're not allowing any creatures to original find us. We're just sprinting. Before, um, <laughs> back to the left. What time Before of day I is it? Um, it's early morning. It's about 10. Okay. Mm. And I've used up all of my second level spell slots. Yeah, you should take a rest. <coughs> so. Um, but also. Before I forget, because I keep wanting to do this, I'm going to fly over to Fauna and say, you are a much better spellcaster than I am. Please take these scrolls. <laughs> oh, you make... Uh, that's my voice. <laughs> <laughs> you make me feel so special, Lala. Thank you. What are You're these welcome. in the chest? No, uh, I had those. I took them from Mr. Bubbles' office, mm. <laughs> and I tried to use one, and I failed, so I haven't touched them. That's pretty kind of tiny I want, what kind of treasure I want to around. look at this book. Mm. Mm. I want to look at the book. Give the book. All right, so you guys all kind of sit up on this boat as uh, wine kind of gonna... turns to you, and, and you guys give him the cues for like removing the anchor and pulling the ship up. He's and going to the left. Okay, great. And you want him to continue in this kind of in this direction. Yeah. Okay, great. So he, everyone else and the crew is starting to get the boat ready, and you dump out kind of the treasure that you had found. <laughs> look at what I found! Ding, 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 ding. <gasps> it's like all of there's all that money just like falling onto the table uh, wherever all the money went. Yeah, is it just sounds coin? like that. Um, I did find a really old book. Oh, oh, wait, wait, so as it? as you're kind of you topple over and you just see all this money coming out of this tiny little pixie's bag that then And as it leaves the bag, it grows back to its normal size. <laughs> it's a truly magical experience. It sits it almost like sends you back like a half of a foot as you're like trying to keep your foot against it as the money's kinda of coming out. Um, you see a lot of things. These look like old, old coins. And as you guys are kind of sifting through it, um, a lot of it appears to be like stuff that might need to be melted down or could be used for currency. It's not common coin within any common coin that you guys have seen, but it looks to be the equivalent of about maybe a thousand gold. Jeez. And then Ooh, as you're looking, treasure. as you're looking, you can see that there's also several sort of uh, rubies and gems and emeralds. I'm gonna start grabbing all this. Um, and <laughs> it appears as you're sifting through this, you've, you collect about, um, I would say four emeralds, yes. uh, two rubies. Why does she get them all? I found it. <laughs> What did we order to I almost drowned. You get. You should, we should we give share. it to our treasurer for and our party fund. And I think we share I the agree. jewels, you except maybe you get one oh extra. It's you okay. Found. She can hold them. She worked really hard for them. She, she will steal them. She will steal them forever. The you find one very beautiful, clear-looking gem that looks like a diamond. My birthstone is the oh, that's Kelly's birthstone. <laughs> <laughs> and then, as you're kind of going through this, all of this. You see the book had been uh, vomited out of the bag, <laughs> and you kind of dust it off. It's an old book, and it's withered, and it's cr it's kind of cracked. You can tell it's leather-bound, and there's um, a clasp on the outside of it. That's all you can see. It's like can black, I and like it's open like open the clasp. I can pick it. Open. He wanted to perception case it's haunted and and and, and cursed and you stuff. You know what? I'm very curious. Now that you can just try. Okay. Ooh. And try you and open me. the clasp. It almost uh, d uh, d uh, d disintegrates. disintegrates in your hands because it's so withered. It's but true. as you kind of flip through the pages, they're cracked and they're broken, and this seems to have been a journal. Mm -hmm. And as you're flipping through it, the very old pages, cracked and dry, you realize whose journal this is. Is it Tamar? Yes. What does it say? I'll have to tell you in a bit, okay. but it's going to take some time for you to read through it. Okay. And it's very hard to discern, so what you're going to have to do is probably by, a, a, you're going to have to spend a full day reading it underneath the candlelight and trying to decipher the words. It is written in common, though. Okay, I'll do that. All right, so you kind of hold it, latch it together. I want to go downstairs and see if other Tamat is still there. <laughs> All right. You kind of stomp down the tamath, stairs tamath, and you begin to tamath, approach. Tamath, tamath, tamath. You also catch a couple yeah. other things within fine, it. Fine, so besides tamath. the fact that you have quite a good amount of gold, mm -hmm. you found these gems. You see, what, you see two other things that kind of stand out to you. Um, you see a very, very beautiful looking ring mm. that kind of stands out as you're staring at it because it's a little bit shinier and it's small, but it's a pretty shiny ring. And then you also see these two small, like, beautifully carved, like, round, some sort of, like, round shapes, and there's faces on them. But they're, like, big. Ooh. And they just stand cool. out. There's only two of those, and then you see that, and then you see the ring. Two carved face things. <laughs> 
It's drama and hazard um, to ask, no? <laughs> if there are any other rings, I want one. And I can I, um, the story you told me about the masks. <sighs> Remember? What? When you does guys were in Schultz, what happened with the masks? Good no, what happened? Wait, what but happened? But I thought that was I just a stone. Good arcana. I don't know. Stone. I hope it's not a stone. I don't know. You said, she said mask. You guys told me they stories. I said mask. She's. I was faces. making jokes. Oh, she said mask. Yeah, me. Okay, okay. continuation. Uh, I was gonna see if if Rowan can roll some arcana magic and try to figure out what my ring, what the ring and what the uh, the faces are. Okay, we'll learn arcana oh, check as you're looking. Uh, hmm? Let's hey. see. I might hey. have a. Uh, I mean, I'll try. Well, I'm not proficient. I might have an identity magic. But I got a fifteen. You're looking at it, you guys are all kind of examining it. You can tell that there might, you can see some sort of ruinic drawing within the inscription of the ring. Um, it's hard to tell with these stones though. It's hard to tell if there's like. Oh, are they stone? They, they, like, it, they, they're heavy in your hand and as you're looking at the carved in faces, you, they, it does appear to be made out of some beautiful stone, like a marble stone. Ooh. Can I cast Detect Magic? Yes. Um, you cast Detect Magic, and you can tell that, I believe with Detect Magic, is it... It tells me the school of magic, if any. Yeah, 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 but can you read the spell Detect Magic in, in uh, total? For the duration, you sense the presence of magic within 30 feet of you. If you sense magic in this way, you can use your action to see a faint aura around any visible creature or object okay, so in that area. It's the creatures or objects. So there's no creatures or objects except for some of your friends that have magical properties as they glow and emanate. So the, the ring and There the... does give up. There's faint magical properties from them. It's hard to tell exactly the school that they're infused with, if there's any school at all. Because Detect Magic's usually, if, uh, it, it's, it seems like one of them is some sort of transmutation spell maybe, or transmutation school. The other one, it's- Are these the stones? Yeah, the okay. stones, well the stones in the ring are both giving off slight magical energies and properties. The, the stones, it's hard to tell if it's, it, it seems to be uh, one in a different nature. I actually have to look at the school, if you want me to look at the school, but. One Which second. one was the transmutation? Uh, the ring. The ring? Transmutation mm. ring. Was Tamith in this room? Oh, no, no, You're no, waiting no. to tell Don't me. Hit. I'm sorry, what? You're waiting to tell me if she's in the room? Uh, you open the door. Uh, yeah, she's still in that room. She's sleeping. She's trying to sleep. Okay, goodbye. <laughs> Close the door. Go back upstairs. <laughs> Skeleton guy. What is this? Sneakers? He's got her. Yo, you guys, she's still there. She's sleeping. Oh, technically they would both be enchantment. Sorry. Because something's enchanted. Oh, my boobie. Um, I'm oh, feeling oh. pretty hungry. I, I sure could use some acorn mash. Well, I mean, I made food a couple of days ago with 45 pounds. So I'm gonna go. Yeah, let's go eat. What? I'm gonna go eat. You wanna sit down to reading food. the book while I eat? Where's that unending ale pitcher? Oh, my, my magic uh, alchemy jug. Can I borrow it? I'm gonna fill it with ale. Ale! Yes. I could um, go for some ale, ale as well. I'll just put some in here. Yeah, I'm gonna talk to Fauna about here, my findings. and. Okay. Putting things in the party fund and that sort of thing. Okay. Sky juice. So as the boat juice. begins to take off, you guys begin heavily drinking around the middle of the day. Um, it's head of the dog. <laughs> as the sun is hit the middle of or the dragon, sky. Or dragon, whatever. And you oh, go sun. over to Fauna and you pull her aside. Mm -hmm. um, so I want to put most of everything in the party fund. How oh, So it stops storming on? Um, I'd like to keep... Right. It was storming. The sun. I'd like you to summon the sun's above. You can myself. watch the sun, okay, but great. it's still it's still fair. cloudy. And then put I'm the just in the potty fun. So laying, up eating, and sunbathing at the same time. I just cut a lot of tea. Real quick, there's two different people talking at the same time. <laughs> okay. Let's let's work on. Sorry. Yeah, no, it's fine. Let's give uh, Lala a moment to speak to Fauna. Okay. Oh yeah, okay. we're just figuring out. So nine hundred in the foot. Yeah. Ish. Okay, so we have about a thousand gold. So we have nineteen eighty five in our foot. It's a lot. Some people, someone here must be born in 1985. Oh, DR, ah, Daily Reckoning. 1985 oh. Daily Reckoning, which um, does not exist. And then... Yeah. Since I almost died, can I get the ring or something? So I'll as give you, you some emerald. As you <laughs> begin to work with Fauna on this, <laughs> um, so the two of you guys, everybody else, because she specifically pulled Fauna aside and was talking to her. The rest of you guys are all drinking and sunbathing, you said, but there's no there's no sun. Like you can tell oh. the sun's above oh. you, but there's still the faint clouds and the it, it hasn't broken through. There's still a faint drizzle of rain. Oh, I'm sunbathing. Yeah. I'm not sunbathing. Oh. I thought Did I was. Did we find out I thought the sun anything was out. else about the face not. things? You can see the sun. You can just see that it's there. magical. So there's just like a little bit of cloud. Just the yeah. Okay, so actually it's better to lay out at this time because 
the clouds create like a reflective I'm having a picnic. You can thing. lay out. What is we'll actually get more tail. <laughs> okay. I mean, the guy that <laughs> runs the boat. At Walton? Yes. He's uh, okay, currently making sure skin. that the ship's about to set sail and you it is steady. Go <laughs> bring him a drink. He does not know if say that. If he did, he would be very excited. But he does not. Rowan and I, I are like in our him. skivvies and we're laying out. And everyone can see my ass. <laughs> okay. What color is it? Your hair's purple, but your it's butt is. It's gray. <laughs> gray. I'm letting me clothes dry. <laughs> my skin is gray. Is but it? when the sun hits it, it turns a little darker. And you guys are still carving through this like heavy mist that's still all around you, around 60 feet. As you guys are pushing in a direction that would be continue, uh, continuing northwest, but billowing a little bit more to the left. And we don't know about the faces yet? No. Um, so you said it's magic? That's all it's enchantment. It's enchanted. What do the faces look like? It's like a carved, it's like a, it's like a, a surface carved, it, 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 it's like marble looking stone, and you can tell that faces are carved into it. That's they're the same face or different faces? Uh, different faces, but they're like looking at each other oh. if you put them together. So sweet. Make them kiss. <laughs> <laughs> like salt and pepper shakers with magnets. Yeah. Um, I have. You do remember that Edna <laughs> was able to oh. help Fauna with her hat. Oh, yes. So I'm going to run and find Edna. DM. <laughs> Thank you. I'm going to run and find Edna. Um, so Edna is currently uh, in the corner of one of the ships, uh, on the top of the ship, uh, rocking back and forth in the fetal position. Mm -hmm. and, and are you okay? I just don't, I just don't know if the sea life's for me. I just, don't, I just don't know. To be honest, I don't think the sea life is for any of us, really. Can so I have some of that ale that your friends are drinking? No! no. Yeah! Lilith! <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. It's Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. And the sail. Okay. Go May on. I have a little, just a taste, just to try? You can stick I your said, pinky in like my father, who I did um, not talk about It seems anymore. that after she drinks a bit, she's a bit calmer. Uh, she's like a you little, she's still shaking. She's like, she's just, just like pee, sitting right? there. I didn't mean to laugh. I don't mm. talk to my dad either. The first trip was very, very <laughs> s s calm in comparison. Yeah, we, we tend to attract some, some things. Okay. Um, so Do you need help? Yes. Um, yes. Can you look at, I'm, I'm going to pull out the, the little, carved faces in the ring. And like, can you take a look at these and, and do you know anything about them? Or? Yes, let me check and see if I'm able to understand maybe those properties you think? Yes, uh, Mora did detect magic and these are charm? Enchanted. Enchanted. Enchanted, and then the ring has some little runes on the inside. Well, great, let me do that. Rune, rune carvings. Rune, um, she rune touches carving? it and she, um, you can see that a spark of energy kind of hits her hand as she touches the ring. And she goes, oh. Mm. Mm. <laughs> she, so you say, as you look at it, as she's casting the spell on it, you can tell that the ring on the outside, um, it like glows this like bright blue. Um, like an, uh, it's, it's got this kind of um, opal, like almost like a, a topaz look to it as it glows and she puts it in her hand and she goes, oh, that's, this is interesting. This is a ring of swimming. So if you wear this, you'll, you'll have a speed of 40 feet while wearing the string. For a string. Oh, well, I know who's getting that. <laughs> what about these? <laughs> no! I'm a rock! Of course uh, yes, you're gonna yes. have it. Like, ring of swimming, you need it. <laughs> so she um, <laughs> looks over these I'm ones, and as sense. she's looking at the faces, <laughs> looks like I see looking at so my, my book, <laughs> um, uh, she uh, it glows in her hands for a bit, and the marbled stone kind of, and you can see as she's casting it that the stone like wisps of something like go from one stone to the other from the mouths that are open and like almost as they're speaking to one another and she's like oh well, these are fascinating you have these are these are called from what i've heard they're, they're quite old um as well they're sending stones sending stones walkie talkies <laughs> yes so um <laughs> when you touch one stone you can use it to cast sending from it and then the other person who has this is able to speak. So it's, it's essentially a way to, um, to speak to somebody. Who's far away from you? Yes. Or whoever there, has the other a, side. Um, whoever has is the other side. Is it the same, yeah. the same uh, distance as sending? Same, this, this spell, or, or is it? Yes, it's whatever the spell is, which is, let me describe it to so you guys so you know. Wait, actually, I just we gave it sending. Yeah. 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 I have it, it's unlimited range. Oh, wow. Has the other Ooh. end. As long as we you're have on the same boat. We have both. Yeah, we got two. So as long we have go, go on different, you know, yeah, one ship. Right. That's, yeah. that's great. 
much That's treasure amazing. we found. Stone yeah, walkie talkies. Yes, yes, my god. And she hands them back to you. And you can use that once per day. Burger, burger. I practice it. <laughs> and, I'll, and I'll send you, I'll give you an item card, a specific item card oh, on that. Okay. Once, once we have it prepped and ready to go. Um, I'm going to fly, <laughs> I'm going to find Moria. I'm going to hand her. Um, actually, if you want to give that to her for now, because I have the same one, and I just didn't, forgot to bring it. That's why I was looking at the break. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to give her two emeralds and no. the ring. You keep the emeralds. I just, I want to collect like a million rings on top of my gauntlets so that they look very, but also I'll take this I'll ring. I'll take it, Everett. Okay. Yeah, give it to her. Yeah, give, my, give my emerald to her. Okay. I want her to have all these beautiful take, little take, things. Take She's adorable. Emerald. I'm holding it. Thank you, boy. Get close. I can swim now, sort of. Look at Try, my not treasure. Really. Not really. Cute. If I drown with this thing on, I'm going to be so time. pissed. So I, can put I keep forgetting to do this. Down. Have, oh yeah, you've got your bracelet of fireball, <laughs> and I don't have this ring. Damaging. I've got the carved faces You know, faces we could of probably sending. find a way to brand a jewel into your skin. Like an implant? Yes. Into it. Yes. I'm into it. I'm going to find Gylon and show my emerald. Okay, so uh, <laughs> Gylon is a... a uh, attempting to avoid you since the interaction, and he seems very busy tying a rope uh, on the top of the deck as you approach him. Gylon, I know you're busy right now, but I know it's okay. But look, is it emerald? Isn't it pretty? What's that face mean? Mm -hmm. I, I don't understand <laughs> you. I'm just gonna say that you said it's pretty, and I'm gonna hold it close to my heart. And then, I'll talk to you later, bye. <laughs> <laughs> and he just kind of like, looks so frustrated, like every single time he tries, it's failing. You guys can all see his body. And like, he accidentally lets go of some of the rope and then has to tie it back. Just for I'm just gonna give him a thumbs up. <laughs> Fauna, <'cause I'm laughs> pay attention to the rope. He doesn't really have the best social skills anyway, so I don't really know if you're missing out. I know, but you know, I feel like one day, I'll be able to help him be more comfortable around me. Yes, perhaps. How would you do and that? And also, one day I've already figured out how to regrow his tongue for him, but it's going to take me a long time to get that powerful. But one day I'm going to regrow his tongue, and one day I'm going to bring my brother back. I just have to work really hard to learn those things and get really good at my spell casting. You'll get there. Um, thank you. I'm really charmed by Fauna's crush, I and know. I've decided I'm going to root for her. <gasps> she's 12 years old. I'm or not yet. She's she said she's in for 13. the long, the long term. I'm 13. I said that she's not running yet, the long game. The long game. I root for her in the long game. Okay. Thank, thank you, Rose. Well, so do we all, but be. not today. I it know. should not Girl, take a pair of What show. am I getting from the book? <laughs> Oh, yeah. okay. So game. you're gonna have to spend the rest of the day Thank reading you, this. Really. So wow. as all of you guys spend the rest of the day moving in mm. this direction, you see that maybe you guys had passed through the deepest, darkest part of that storm that had come along the way from the very uh, uh, kind of a long pour, downpour that had happened overnight. Um, as you guys continue to push um, northwest, um, <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> <ears fall. laughs> um, you continue to push northwest. You guys can tell that there's a slight break within the mist. Now, there's still mist there, and this, the clouds are still ever-present, but you can at least see that as the sun's setting um, against the thicker clouds, um, a red sky, which is always a good sign as you red see it. Red sky at night, sailor's delight. <laughs> red sky in morning, sailor's take morning. warning. I know that one. Oh. <laughs> know that one too, That's a helpful <laughs> song to know. Very. <laughs> And it's all true. The, as she started singing it, all the other people on deck started singing it, and you guys Red all just looked at it. Night, night. sailors delight. delight. Red, Red sky and morning, sailors, sailors take warning. Warning. Yes. <laughs> 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 warning. I don't know. Three because of this. Hi ho. 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 Hi as uh, they sing all different songs as the shanties continue. Um, you guys continue pushing uh, northwest. Um, as you guys are doing this, you can catch that um, though the, the sun is red in the sky, the, the mist is still sticking around, which is very frustrating um, just trying to see 
beyond what you could see. And though it's no longer 60 feet or so that it's blocking your vision, it's still somewhere around 500 feet. It's slowly dissipating. And you can tell from the warmth and the heat of the clouds, you hope tomorrow, if it's going to be a brighter day, that at least it will decimate some of this mist that's around you. I'm still drinking. Dissipate and decimate. I put my clothes back <laughs> Thank on. you. I think we'll have better luck sunbathing tomorrow. Mm-hmm. I throw her clothes over her. She's a little drunk. <laughs> and it's getting cold. <laughs> Thank you. As you You're guys get ready friend. for a night, Anytime. Walton comes up to you. Hey. Hi. Did you, did you see us climb down the ship and go on the other ship and get the people? <laughs> I, I, saw, I saw that. I saw you running. I saw you jumping. I saw you, I saw you climbing. Did you see when the rope burned my legs? I saw, I saw that. <laughs> I might need some ointment. Ah! And he just like, he, he brings you downstairs the moment he hears that, and he pulls you underneath one of the um, boats. <laughs> and we kiss for the first time. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's come oh, down here. It's going to get loud. <laughs> Tamas is in a room like, what the fuck? <laughs> Tamas is like, do you? <laughs> It finally it's happened. Do you oh. spontaneously breathe fire whenever it's going well? Um, yeah. <laughs> I this breathe so fire the at, the end. Oh. <laughs> at the end. Oh. Through my nose. Don't you burn the boat. <laughs> Close your mouth. Okay, I have Blow corks. It out your nose. I have corks for I that. I love <laughs> the fact that all you guys are screaming to her as she's under the boat. Like, but have fun. We're excited for her. Busy. Thin boat, thin boat walls. Thin um. boat. You're so excited for her all the time. <laughs> <laughs> well, she's of age, so. Hey, it's Fauna, we need to work on your the uh, jealousy day. there. <laughs> not very becoming for a lady. What is it? So. Because she was. She said she's. You're always so. <laughs> oh, you're always so happy. She's down there, so I'm up here. Uh, she's. You're always so happy for her. Like that. So as the night progresses in different ways, <laughs> you in different get it. capacities. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I can even move. Um, moving on. You guys make it successfully through the night uh, without any problems. A full rest. You guys are recharged, feeling good. Rather it be drinking or counting your goods or uh, getting a workout. <laughs> That's I wish I was getting a workout. <laughs> um, I'd hit up Guy Lime, but he doesn't have a tongue, so. Whoa! <laughs> he has other appendages. <laughs> we think. We don't know. Um, Rowan, and no works with you on your. We don't know what else. Your drawing. He have. Yeah. <laughs> like the two of you guys maybe like work on some drawing skills as the day progresses and yeah. <laughs> gets better and better. I'm gonna show Moira the the things of sending. Like, look, Maya. We found these stones. Look at these stones. We found magic stones. I'm very. As we're just hiding in the just corner, away <laughs> from all the chaos. <laughs> yeah, and by the way, like right now, there's it's loud below deck. So if you guys want to sleep, I'm reading my book. It's in the morning. It's Is it still not? No, it's okay. not. Time. He can't. Is it? She can't do it all day. Oh, oh. make a roll a constitution what saving time throw. A what? Dragon. A constitution a saving throw. throw. <laughs> I love doing this. Holy. <laughs> For what? Um, Oh, uh, 17. 17? Mm hmm Okay, so that's, okay, that's 17 hours. <gasps> so. Oh, shit. Well, I am a barbarian. So we need some ointment now. You can, you can end it whenever you want, but you could go for 17 hours. Is what the uh, thing we goes. don't. No, it's, it's been a while. But Terrible. let's see if Walton's okay. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my God. He's not okay. <laughs> <laughs> Walton unfortunately can't keep up with you, Junishka, and passes out about 30 minutes into <laughs> your centered I come out of the boat, it's morning, and I went, well, <laughs> at least I have ointment on my birds. <laughs> oh my gosh. PG-13. I didn't mean that kind of ointment. Um, okay. So funny. Um, before I'm dying. Before <laughs> bed, I, I reanimated my zombies at night again. Okay, so you reanimate your zombies. Um, you read the book, and yes. Tell me. as you're reading the book, um, you learn a lot of things, but you catch, that the, you catch that this is a book that seems to be of a very specific point in time of her life. Mm -hmm. And what you read is this. Um, When I was transformed into a vampire, I wasn't expecting this. 
I'd been bound for some time and thankfully was able to break against the service that I was supposed to do, being from Byzantium. Well, I'm used to it. It's just a shame because I feel like I owe him my life and my love and I have a feeling that where I'm going to is going to be my doom. You learn a lot as you read into this about her love, this love that she had for this person and it's very hard sometimes to read the, the name on the inscription of whoever she's writing about. You learn that she had been turned into a vampire after of dying after being a fighter originally, a very strong one at that. Um, she went into this kind of strange uh, hybrid um, where she was able not just to transform into a bat or rodent, but she could burst into a cloud of bats or a cloud of carpets, uh, carpet of rats, rats. She had a very specific sort of talent uh, from the way that she had been brought into this world as a vampire. You're catching as you're reading this that she was attempting to call back her soul or the f essentially figure out who she once was so she was no longer beholden to this strange person that had uh, evoked this form of her. Um, you find out that she once, uh, she almost died in her vampiric form formerly at the battle, uh, this big battle in this fortress. And then somebody offered his own blood to heal her unconscious body, body at the time, and then all of a sudden she felt it, like it became love, and she was in love. And she began to fight alongside him, alongside these things called the Zulkirs, these things called the Red Wizards. You learn about how she followed them to Byzantor, and they were forced to abandon there um, in the face of someone named Zas Tom. Um, you can read from there that she went aboard one of the vessels and she was aware that she could not fight properly being a vampire on this boat, but that this was the only way that she was going to be able to fight is if she were on a boat for this particular fight, for this marine fight that's hard to understand. Uh, there's a lot of lost pages in the middle, but you catch that this love of hers um, nearly killed this person, Zagoth, that was out to get her. And at the last moment, uh, Tzagoth grabbed her and broke through the reeling of the ship and plummeted into the sea. And due to her, the nature of her vampire form, she had started to dissipate like acid in water. The person that loved her had followed her into the sea and took her body. And it apparently, her vampiric form dissolved within his hands, but from what you can gather here, maybe some of the practices that she had done had successfully worked in terms of her attempting to ensure that she could be reformed. But it was gonna be at the cost of some sort of dissection of soul and body. And finally, towards the end of the book, you catch the name, and the name is Barris. <gasps> Barris! Who is Barris? Barris? You know this guy? Yeah. I don't, we were gone. I was, we were in another thing. You met ba Barris. Uh -uh. He was yeah. the guy who took us through the tunnel to get out of. He's the deformed creature that we were in that dark, he, he sort of got oh, us yeah. from the, the uh, god the of death from Kalimbor's um, circle in Thay. I think I was there. Yes, you, you were. were. And we, he, he was like pustules Barris. all over his we body. We followed Barris. him. There was a, there was a <laughs> circle of. Columbia. Oh, the yeah. thing that, that we were, we, 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 mm -hmm. we, we, we went in. The down. underground tunnel with all okay. the nature that and stuff. Yeah, that Barris. was him. That was Barris. Okay. She was drunk. Mm -hmm. Yes. <laughs> Classic. Barris. So you read this, and then the morning breaks. In the morning, as you guys all kind of wake up, rather you slept below deck or above deck to avoid mm -hmm. circumstances or things. Um, you have learned this, Moira. You have rested well, thankfully. Yes. And everyone's had... Um, a safe night's passage. You can catch that the mist now has kind of cleared away as the sun is breaking over the eastern Hang sky. On. Yes. Did I get any rest at all, or did I just stay up all night to read the book? You slept the tail end of the night. I would say you would have to sleep an extra four hours in order to okay. catch up for what you've lost. 
So you guys are all above deck before Moira has passed out. So oh. Has she communicated to anyone? Yeah, I'm sharing what I've learned. Look, Edna says I resemble someone called Picasso. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. That's just rather, you know, handsome. Mm. I think it might have been a little more bulbous than that. But what was? All over everything. <laughs> yes, um, uh, Picasso is a, a very well-known um, uh, artist in Greenest, and I'll have to introduce you to him. He's a fantastic oh, I person. I love that. Yes, well, well, I Perhaps think you have some more talent. Perhaps give me a lesson. Yes, yes, he actually does Greek pottery classes, I too. I like drawing. <laughs> Who knew? So the diary. Yes. Uh, Tamith was writing this diary when she was a vampire. So she's been a van vampire for a while. And there was this big marine battle. Uh, Zastam, the emperor of Thay, or ruler, or whatever, um, drove out the red wizards, which is who she was fighting with. Uh, the Zolkia, the Zolkia, I think. Um, and a, a, I don't know what this is, but a name, Zagoth. Uh, it, or they, tried to kill her I assume in that boat where we were, uh, dragged her under water, and the person that she loved, who made her, I think, a vampire in the first place, saved her initially by giving blood, um, saved her life, but she had to separate her soul and her body as a vampire. Did we kill her soul last night? No, I don't, I don't think so. She's still here. Um, okay. but her body. I think perhaps we might killed her soul. That's a banshee. I don't oh, oh, I don't a know. A shapeshifter banshee with the face of Tamith? Possibly, because that was where she technically died. I'd like to roll insight on this diary and see if it's perhaps fictitious. In it's order to uh, understand the diary, you probably have to read the book to see if you pick up anything oh. else. But uh, unfortunately, insight would only work on a person or a, a creature. Can she read the book? Hmm. You could. It'll I mean, it, it's still there. It but here's, here's the, the point of the story. Her lover, the person that saved her and potentially turned her into a vampire in the first place, was Barris. <gasps> Poor lowly Barris. That guy who Barris. walked us through the... The, the big, yes, tunnel. with all the... Yes. Is he back? Way. Is he still alive? We could take her back to him. Uh, we're not, we're we're not yeah, he's still alive, but he's all the way in Thay. All Perhaps. the way, well, deeper into Thay than we are. Yes. In the forest. Maybe we could send a message to him. I have a scroll. Sure. I mean, that, should we save it? It's up to you, it's your scroll. Mm -hmm. As you guys are saying this, you hear from the top of the crow's nest, um, like a bell going off. <gasps> and you see here, it's just ringing the bell very avidly. Oh no. And then points out. And what you see before you guys, far in the distance, but you're getting closer to it, and you hadn't realized that your boat is picking up speed as you're getting drawn closer and closer to what appears to be a massive Whirlpool. <gasps> and we'll end there today. No! I hate water! Yeah. I hate water. It's gonna be funny, guys. Up swimming now. Oh my gosh. Go left. Love it. <laughs> Thank you, everyone, for tuning in. <laughs> Find out what happens with the Whirlpool next We're definitely gonna need water Sunday, breathing. 3 p.m. Pacific it. Standard Time. We're gonna give away the final Idol, Idol Champions code of the day. So <gasps> don't be so scared, Moira. <laughs> We're closing oh, out. When I die. In three, two, no. one. I can feel it. Oh no, no. you won't die. Fauna, I might die. Okay, when I figure die. it out. She can cast water breathing. Congratulations, the run to eighty-one for hey. winning your idol champions code. Um, so yeah, thank you everyone for tuning in. We'll be back next week. Uh, follow us oh. at Girls Guts Glory on everything. Yeah. Um, also. Girls Guts Glory RPG.com to find more info and all our videos. We have some thank yous, Erica. Oh, yeah. Oh, yes. Uh, sorry, let me write down the winner before I. Uh, Congrats, well, everybody. We have, we have new dice. We have new dice. Thanks to yeah. Dice Bard. Thank they you. Like, so pretty. I love Shiny. them. Shiny. I, I love how heavy they are. Shiny. They're metal dice. Shiny. Ooh. <laughs> and uh, we have such an awesome crew who's been helping us every Thank week. You. So let's give a shout yeah. out to them. Yay. We have Major and Jake and Doris and Kellen. usually Naomi. And and Kellen. 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 And Kellen. Boy Kellen. Kellen. Two, L's. Two L's. Two L's. And we have Jen. We have everyone, everyone. and so they're thank you to so great, everybody involved. Yeah. and they're keeping awesome. us on. Yeah. Also, also, thanks to Mass by Mars. 
And by Mars. campaign coins. And campaign coins. Uh, for that giving us lots of stuff that makes really nice sounds. Yeah. When we get, you know, for us to loot. Back in my to Nick and a mat for the music. Yeah, as Nick Kine and Nick Kine Matt Dehan. 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 I was going to say Dehan. Dehan. He likes both. Dehan. Dehan. Uh, yeah, great. Yeah. All the music is original from Nick Crine and Matt Dehan. So mm -hmm. amazing. It is. It's, it's cool. Lovely. Also, and Miss Ali Galina, who will play music. Yes. So. yes. Her lovely, lovely. Bye. Anyway, thank Thanks. you for tuning in. Uh, see you next. Week. See you next week, baby. Bye. 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 We love you, baby. No. Stay scared. Sponsored by Wizards of the Coast.